Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Sign in a new species every day. Chapter 61. Not much, just a few hundred million points. Vermilion Bird replied calmly. After all, Universe 28 constellations actually represents almost all the stars in the universe. It has seven constellations alone, which is almost a quarter. It's just that it is not the complete control of the people living on the territory like the emperor of the world, but a symbolic god. The star field it controls is the power of the star field itself, not the creatures in the star field. But even so, they have also been given and developed countless functions during the countless years of existence. Lu Xuanji couldn't agree with this, billion points, how should I say, a little bit of envy and hatred. Groove, this is the heel, this is the fate. Is there really no way now? Lu Xuanji looked at the golden palace in front of him with greedy eyes, and asked Vermilion Bird. Now you even know the specific location of the U Beast sect ruins, but it's something to come back at any time, why are you so anxious? Zhu Shaok asked rhetorically. Lu Xuanji stood under the golden hall, looking at the golden hall in front of him, feeling a little confused. He hadn't been so anxious before. Hearing what Vermilion Bird said, he was really anxious. The road to cultivation is as vast as a sea of smoke, and he can't see his head. He now seems to be standing on the ground floor of a hundred-story building, and since he can look up to this one-hundred-story building, how can he be willing to just stand here and look up to it? There was a faint voice in his heart urging him to become stronger and stronger. Lu Xuanjia didn't know where this voice came from, or why he had such an obsession with becoming stronger. Thinking about it, maybe it was just because he had suffered a loss of strength. Now, whenever there is a little hope, he will firmly grasp the hope and want to climb up, right? Or maybe, just because there is nothing else to ask for, there are no other goals. Lu Xuanji sighed, and could only turn to explore other buildings on the top of the mountain. There is a great hall next to the Golden Hall, which used to serve as a study room for secondary guests. Lu Xuanji went in and strolled around, sighing that he has no pockets. There are still some original furnishings, all of the magic treasures level, but those desks, screens, pole frames, etc., he can't resist leaving. What? In the end, he only grabbed a pen holder on the desk, a Jinhao brush, and a jade pole finger next to it. Behind the desk is a long bookshelf with a few bamboo slips sparsely placed on it, a few folded animal skin rolls, and a few jade slips. Lu Xuanji opened it and looked at them one by one, but he didn't use the original script, and Lu Xuanji didn't know him. Hey, Zhu Shaok, what's this character? Why don't I know it? Lu Xuanji thought that his, carved in bone, instinct was lost, and could not help asking Vermilion Bird. This is, these bamboo slips should all be the Yu Yu Xingwen popular before the Northern Star Territory 30 Yuanwei, I don't know. Zhu Shaok bounced on the unfolded bamboo slips, and finally shook his head. Ha, huh, didn't your cultivators use the ancient literature in a unified way? Lu Xuanjia asked in surprise. Think too much, Vermilion Bird rolled his eyes. Hong Wangwen is a relatively early unified writing. Every word refers directly to the true meaning of the Tao. It can even be said that there is Taoist rhyme in the Hong Wangwen. Participating in literary literature can be intuitive. However, the later generations of spiritual roots have a low level of understanding, and they forcefully study the ancient literature, at least they will be hit hard by Daoyun, and at other times they will become idiots. Therefore, in order to continue civilization and spread knowledge, rulers of all strata can only create simpler characters. The types of characters in the universe have also increased. Different times and places have different characters. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Lu Xuanjia asked with a question mark, and said to Zhu Shaok a little confused. What, are the cultivators so good at it? Can't learn a word, and it's easy to become an idiot if you force to learn. Then these are useless. After regaining his senses, Lu Xuanji threw the bamboo slips and animal skins on the table and asked. At this time, as he threw it on the table, an animal skin roll unfolded. Above is a picture of a giant tortoise, and this turtle, compared to other turtles, has a very long head, not like a tortoise's head, but a dragon's head. Wait, Vermilion Bird jumped to this picture. The Royal Beast sect moved to the North Star Sea in the later years of the Royal Beast Tianzun. It is rumored by the world that the Royal Beast Tianzun knew that the time is approaching. He has no hope of pursuing the four divinities in his entire life. 
This is the last fight. This scroll of animal skins may be one of the secret scrolls left over at that time. The royal beast Heavenly Sovereign found one. Under the tyrant, Zhu Shaok said with a weird expression. No, Tianzun royal beast shouldn't be so stupid. It might be a good thing for descendants of Tianzun royal beast to use black tortoise. Zhu Shaok kicked the animal skin roll and looked at it carefully. Don't you know this kind of text? How do you understand it? Lu Xuanji also lay on the table, carefully looking at the animal skin roll, and asked the serious-looking Zhu Shaok. I can't read the words, but I can look at the pictures. Zhu Shaok replied with contempt. Quote dot 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 quote. Lu Xuanjia was speechless, speaking so well and reasonably. These things still seem to be useful, you'd better take them away. Vermilion Bird raised his head and looked at Lu Xuanji. At this time, Lu Xuanji had already pulled the curtain cloth on the book slip. After all, these bamboo slips, jade slips, etc., do not occupy a large area, and if you work hard, you can still find a way to take them away. Vermilion Bird was taken aback for a moment, looked at the busy Lu Xuanji, and after a moment of silence, he reminded him, there is also the dark silkworm cloth in your hand. It is not invaded by water or fire, and it is also a good thing. Stab. Almost at the same time that Vermilion Bird's voice fell, the other half of the curtain was gone. Let's go. Go and see elsewhere. In a quarter of an hour, Lu Xuanji had packed two big bags, crossed his back, and said to Zhu Shaok. I think your master can jump out of the grave with anger when he sees you like this. Vermilion Bird grabbed the animal skin under the tyrant and flew in front, and said to Lu Xuanji. Master. Lu Xuanji asked in surprise, when did he have a master? You have obtained the inheritance of Tianzun royal beast. In the cultivation world, you are generally called the master of the world. Although you haven't actually met the royal beast Tianzun, it is a fact that you inherited his cultivation technique, which is equivalent to the second generation disciple of the royal beast sect. When you say this, it seems that I am at ease. The royal beast sect is no longer there anyway. Logically speaking, I am the only descendant of the royal beast sect. When we still have to come back and move the golden palace away, it is best to move the entire Hengsha world, so as not to be taken advantage of by others. Lu Xuanji said, touching his chin. The master is the master, anyway, he had 180 teachers in school anyway, one more, it seems that there is no loss. Quote dot 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 quote. Zhu Shaok was speechless when she heard Lu Xuanjia's answer, and she cursed in her heart, shameless. Vermilion Bird grabbed the animal skin roll, with a clear goal, and flew directly to the mountain behind Fixia Peak. There is a forum on the Taoist platform in the back mountain. A small pavilion is built on the forum on the edge of a cliff. On the table in the pavilion, there are two tea cups. Lu Xuanji walked over, the tea in the cup was dry, and there was a pavilion with no guardrails, and there was an abyss on one side. If a person with acrophobia stood here, he would be scared to death. Vermilion Bird's goal was not the only building on the back mountain, but flew straight to the edge of the cliff, opening his mouth to face the cliff wall and spraying a large mouthful of Nanming Lihuo. The flames burned on the entire cliff, but a ladder appeared faintly, leading to the bottom of the cliff. Naughty, let's go. Zhu Shaok flapped her wings above the stairs and asked Lu Xuanjia. Quote dot 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 quote. If something happens, I will call someone the owner, if nothing happens, I will call someone an idiot. Why are you such a bird? Lu Xuanji asked Zhu Shaok aggrievedly. Ha, huh, Zhu Shaok Sunere turned around and used the bird's tail to face Lu Xuanjia. Lu Xuanjia grabbed it from the air and put it on his shoulder. It's time for you to lose weight. It's becoming more and more like an angry bird. Why do you always say that people are angry birds, what are angry birds? Zhu Shaok asked with his head tilted. Although it has inherited memory, the last and last vermilion bird don't know what angry bird is. Lu Xuanji walked the top rank ladder, took out the phone by the way, turned on angry bird, and handed it to vermilion bird. Vermilion bird held the phone with magic power and started to read the rules of the game. Until a moment later, it finally discovered that the little red fat bird that was placed on the bow and bounced off was an angry bird. Hey, looking at his mobile phone flying out, Lu Xuanji was startled, and hurriedly rushed towards his mobile phone. Then, ah, the excitement of shouts spread throughout the valley, although there were no birds, even the leaves were shaken off a lot. 
Zhu Xiao quickly followed and flew down, but when he heard a puff, Lu Xuanji fell into the pool at the bottom of the cliff. The Qing wing behind him also gathered up. The Suzaku who was chasing after him suddenly stopped in the air, and his expression was a bit difficult to describe. If you have to use one word to describe it, it is Lu Harazi. Dancing grass. Beautiful boy. Why didn't I find out before, its owner turned out to be a beautiful man. E-M-M-M. Maybe for Suzaku, the ability to grow wings is a beautiful man, right? Vermilion bird. Zhu Shaok, what are you doing? You give me sober. Don't tell me, you have a nympho attribute as a bird. Lu Xuanjia floated on the water, watching the Zhu Shaok who had just slammed onto his shoulders, and shouted with a dark face at the Zhu Shaok who was madly rubbing his face. How should I put it, even if Zhu Shaok was just a bird, Lu Xuanji could see the look of an idiot on its face. Zhu Shaok, you are destroying your image in my heart. Said the southern holy beast, what about vermilion bird? Shouldn't it be noble buffin, calm and elegant? Are you worthy of your identity? Are you worthy of your, billion dots, part-time job? Pop, Lu Xuanjia couldn't bear it, grabbed vermilion bird and threw it on the water. However, such an unintentional act seems to have caused a chain effect. Boom, there was a muffled sound, and the fire and water repelled each other. The water surface that was originally just a circle of ripples suddenly blew up a huge 20-meter high wave, and a high-pitched beast roar broke out. Lu Xuanjia seemed to also feel the amount of violent violence coming from under the water, and immediately reformed the blue wings and flew to the shore in one swoop. I saw a ferocious dragon head rushing out of the water in an instant, with red eyes and full of ferocity. Lu Xuanjia's eyes could not help but suddenly widen, it was that one. The overlord who was imprisoned here by the descendant disciple of the royal beast sect. Dragon head, turtle body, majestic and domineering. There was a period of the loss of ancient gods and beasts, where dragons and snakes were mixed, and Ba Sha was mistaken for black tortoise. On that animal skin scroll, what was described should be the content of black tortoise. The descendant disciple of the royal beast sect, found the animal skin scroll that records Baxia, and the text in the picture in the animal skin scroll mismatched Baxia as black tortoise. Therefore, in order to fulfill the last wish of the ancestor, the descendant disciple of Yu Beast sect went to get Ba Sha back. It's just that, at this time, the method of guarding beasts has been lost and subtracted from generation to generation, and the method of guarding beasts has been separated from the guarding beasts of Tianzun. Except that the results are similar, the process is far worse. The later generations of the beast control technique has become one of the famous cultivation techniques. Regardless of the cultivation talent of the beast control, as long as you find a way to force a contract with a better beast pet, you will wait to be carried by the beast pet. At that time, the beast control method did not care about the relationship between the beast pet and the beast defender, and the beast pet was completely reduced to a tool for the beast defender to enhance their strength. The beast master relies entirely on the beast pet, if one is not strong enough, then two will come. Therefore, later, the royal beast method was deleted and modified again, and it became two major schools. One big genre masters the life beast, Everything serves to enhance the strength of the life beast, a big genre mainly focuses on the soul, the stronger the soul, the more beast pets can be contracted. In such an environment, with the strength of the sect leader of the royal beast sect at that time, it was impossible to contract the best of the beasts to dominate, and finally could only lock the leader here. This dilemma, but I don't know how many years have passed, the lower body is a divine beast, but because of these thousands of years of imprisonment, he is full of tyrannical and fierceness, even surpassing some fierce beasts. With the emergence of Ba Sha, struggling in the water, you can see chains, like entangled black snakes entangled on it. As soon as it struggled, the rune above the chain was shining, suppressing the power of the hegemon. Roar, a huge roar spread throughout the world of Hengsha. Lu Xuanji looked at this scene with shock, his fists clenched. It wasn't that he was angry and upset for domination, but Lu Xuanji always felt a kind of sympathy when he looked at the struggling Baxia in front of him. It's very much like myself, very much like my heart when I jumped down from the rooftop. This real world is the yoke, and in front of these yokes, I look so small and powerless to struggle. He is just a scholar who has no power to restrain the chicken. In this world where capable people are constantly emerging, and the old order is collapsing, an ordinary person is really nothing. 
Scenes after scenes flashed before his eyes, they were just weak pasts. Liu Xuanjia smiled non-committal, but his smile couldn't hide his bitterness. Now he has a way to become stronger, no longer succumbing to the majesty of the capable, but is he really free from the shackles? Liu Xuanji let out a long breath, maybe he hasn't come out so easily. He was once lost and avenged Su Su, then. What should I do? In this world, he has nothing left. You are also really poor. You have been mistakenly recognized as a tortoise, and you have been trapped here for thousands of years. There is really no one for the beast to do your job. Gradually, Liu Xuanji looked at the tyrant in front of him. Next, shook his head and smiled. When the voice fell, Liu Xuanji was running the beast repelling heart technique he had just learned, and he threw a punch, and the majestic magic power gushed out, hitting the iron chain. This magic power spreads quickly on the iron chain, like the firstborn sunlight illuminating the earth, the rune on the iron chain, once encountering Lu Xuanjia's magic power, it is even more like ice and snow encountering the scorching sun broken. Oh, with a long scream, I saw Ba Sha break away the remaining iron chains and flew away in the air. Hey, Lu Xuanji tried to catch up, but only in the blink of an eye, the shadow of the overlord had disappeared. Even though he had been trapped here for thousands of years, the strength of the hegemony was still unbelievable for Lu Xuanji today. Looking at the direction of Ba Sha's disappearance, Lu Xuanji couldn't help frowning. Ba Sha's strength somewhat exceeded his expectations. At least for now, he hasn't been able to control the hegemony yet, and he doesn't know if this release is good or bad. Even though you let it go, the cultivation is the method of defending the beast. It is good to go without killing us. Vermilion Bird thought he was unwilling to let go and flew over to persuade him. Lu Xuanji glanced at it. You dignified Vermilion Bird, it's useless to be so arrogant, you deserve to be a holy beast. Hey, who said I'm useless? I, Vermilion Bird intended to defend, but Lu Xuanji just slurred in the direction of Ba Sha's departure. If you want to be useful, can one of you slip away? Vermilion Bird couldn't explain, but he was still a little bit angry. There is a real water spring under this lake, which was obtained by the royal beast sect in order to warm and nourish the tyrant. In order to suppress the hegemony and prevent it from turning this place upside down, it imitated the divine instrument Ding Hai Shenzhen and made Zhen Dinghu needles. You can't get rid of this spring. You can make up your mind with this fixation needle. For you now, it should be a good magic treasures. Vermilion Bird turned the subject and looked at the lake after Baxia left, rode. When Lu Xuanzhen heard this, he was immediately stunned. An imitation of Dinghai Shenzhen. With this big sports car, what little motorcycle is there? There is a god iron rod in Sun Wukong's synthesis requirements, and Lu Xuanji is wondering where to get the god iron. Although this Dinghu needle is only an imitation of the real Dinghai Shen needle, the magic treasures made by the ancestors of the royal beast sect must be much more powerful than just making a little iron and making a stick. Do you know if you said it earlier? Lu Xuanji was a little surprised, and plunged into the lake, looking for the lake needle that Vermilion Bird said. Vermilion Bird didn't follow. There was a real water spring in the lake. The real water in the black pool outside overflowed from the lake, making it feel uncomfortable. At this moment, looking at Lu Xuanjia's back into the lake, Vermilion Bird could not help but shook his head with his wings on his back. Oh, what a pity, how can such a beautiful man not have a long tail and beak? At the bottom of the lake, all the chains are indeed wrapped around a pillar inserted in the bottom of the lake. Lu Xuanji swam over, and after several attempts, pulled out the pillar. Because it belongs to the royal beast sect, Lu Xuanji's magic power is of the same origin, and it is very easy to carry out preliminary refining. This imitated sea god needle is held in his hand, and it is also very large or small, which is satisfactory to Rui Scepter. It's just that the imitation version is an imitation version, and it is still low imitation. The functions are more similar, and the appearance is horrible. It is purely a dark fire stick. Lu Xuanji looked around again, except for the iron rod and the spring eye, there was really nothing left. So, Lu Xuanji dragged away one of the iron chains originally used to tie the hegemony. Don't ask him why he doesn't drag a few away, he has more than his heart, but he is not strong enough. Wow, as the water splashed, Lu Xuanjia dragged the chain back to the shore. Go and see elsewhere, Lu Xuanjia wiped the water off his face and flew onto the cliff with an iron chain. Next, 
Lu Xuanji wandered around the main peak and found several cultivation techniques of the Royal Beast sect, all of which were spells and simplified versions derived from the original beast cultivation technique for later generations. Lu Xuanji brought the derived spells, and left the others in place, giving up to bring them out. After learning the one-handed beast control technique taught by Tianzun Royal Beast, Lu Xuanjia could tell at a glance that there were many genres of these beast control techniques in future generations, but Realm did not know how much it was lower, and many of them had already turned their way. Taking it out is also harmful to others and self. Lu Xuanjia did not expect that Du Nanshang and Ren Qinshan would also find the cultivation cultivation technique of Royal Beast Sect on other peaks. That was the superficial cultivation technique practiced by the disciples of the Imperial Beast Sect in later generations, even the cultivation technique that Lu Xuanji had walked crookedly in his eyes. Lu Xuanji returned to the square at the foot of Fixia Peak. After waiting for a long time, Ren Qinshan and Du Nansheng finally returned. After a glance, it seemed that they were full of fines. The three of them saw him dragging the big iron chain, and their eyes were a little surprised and weird. After all, this big iron chain looked unremarkable, and it was very heavy and took up a lot of space. As long as he went to the main peak, he got such a big iron chain, which inevitably disappointed people. But after only a moment stunned, Ren Qinshan still asked Lu Xuanjia, there must be a lot of treasures in this main peak golden palace. I don't know how many items you got. I can't enter the golden temple. Lu Xuanjia shook his head frankly and replied. Cut. I thought you were so powerful, so you couldn't get in. Meng Hongyu whispered and underestimated, holding her arms. After suffering, she didn't dare to be so blatantly stunned by Lu Xuanji now. Lu Xuanji glanced at her and didn't argue with her. After all, he wasn't Grandpa Mao, and it was impossible for everyone to like it. I picked up a bunch of rags, but it must be better than the other things on the peak. You can pick one of these things if you want. Lu Xuanji put down the baggage of the two curtain cloth bags behind his back, and said to him. The person said. No need, we also found some good things. Thanks to you, how can we still take your things cheeky? Du Nansheng patted his packed baggage and said. This time, the harvest is not lower than that of the giant secret realm, and there is not much danger. The giant secret realm depends on a few of us, and it is definitely not possible. Du Nansheng continued with emotion. He felt that Lu Xuanji was lucky. Du Nansheng didn't want it. Ren Qinshan and the two were naturally too embarrassed to ask for it. They could only agree and play tricks on the way to leave here. At night, the four of them were able to leave the Hengsha secret realm and emerged from the black water pool. At this time, there is really nothing valuable in this little secret realm, and it can be searched. Lu Xuanji threw the big iron chain that he had struggled to pull out by the lake, and threw a few baggage into the black tortoise shell, dragged the black tortoise shell and left. Hey, don't you want that big iron chain? Du Nansheng chased up and asked in surprise. If you don't want it, why take such a great effort to get it out? It's useless for me, Lu Xuanji replied indifferently. The material of the iron chain trapped under the tyrant must be boofin, but the iron chain of that size would be exhausted just by dragging it away, and it was indeed useless. Unless, someone with great strength may come in handy. After a few people left, a shadow that looked like a white ghost in the night appeared by the lake. The slender jade hand grabbed the big iron chain, and with a light wave, the iron chain danced like a long dragon. The iron chain that Lu Xuanji tried his best to tow away, in her hand, turned out to be like an arm's instruction, as if there was no weight. However, in the eyes of Du Nansheng and others, Lu Xuanji's weird behavior was a weird addition to him. Ren Qinshan and several people returned to Xinchen City with Lu Xuanji. However, they were still bewildered when they were still on the suburban road outside the city. Where is the city in the sky? What about a big city in the sky? How could it be gone? Recalling the scene of the bird covering the sky before leaving the city in the sky, Ren Qinshan couldn't help looking at Lu Xuanji and asked, Where is the city in the sky? What have you done? It's just taking away the burning heart. Lu Xuanjia replied calmly, as if it were just a trivial matter. Ren Qinshan's expression changed a few times, and his heart was shocked. He had never thought of such a crazy thing, but Lu Xuanji did it. What does this guy want to do? I've been waiting for you for a long time. Just when Ren Qinshan's throat was dry and wanted to say something, another voice rang first. 
I saw a figure coming from far to near on the road ahead without any haste. This figure is clearly defined under the street lamp. Because of the relationship between light and shadow, he can't see his face, but it gives people an extremely depressed and sturdy feeling. This person is not strong, but it always makes people feel that it is a mountain approaching him. Finally, the figure was near, and Ren Qinshan couldn't help but shrink their pupils. Xiao Yin, they know, this is in Tianjing, but a celebrity. It is also the senior of Ren Qinshan and others, who walked out of the Academia Sinica, the ninth-tier powerhouse. Xiao Yin was originally just an ordinary person. In the new day, he acquired the abilities of, Vajra is not bad, and, Blood Qi. Among them, Vajra is not bad, it can only be said that it is a relatively ordinary ability, the physical strength is relatively high, and it is not easy to be injured. Blood Qi, on the other hand, is a rare, but not easy to detect and develop ability. Blood Qi ability can only play its true role in the, Shira field. People with this ability have the stronger capital in the war, the heavier the injury, the stronger the excited blood chi, and it can even explode ten times the strength. Of course, as one of the few people with blood chi abilities, this record was measured from Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin, who possesses two abilities, did not live very well in the early stage of the new day. Because Vajra's indestructible ability has no attack power, and blood chi is hidden too deeply, he himself hasn't found it at all. With two abilities, he didn't get any resources yet, and the speed of the ascension of the power level was also extremely slow. At that time, Xiao Yin was a target that anyone with abilities around him could bully at will. Until Wu Baicheng, his mentor at the Academia Sinica, found him and brought him to the Academia Sinica. Such a weak and deceptive ordinary person, in just three years, has grown into a person who has frightened the awakened at home and abroad, and has gained a considerable status in the military. This is also one of the inspirational stories of those who are able to advertise on TV today. Although he had had several connections with this senior before, perhaps because Xiao Yin was deliberately creating momentum at this time, Ren Qinshan and the others couldn't help but feel a little nervous, holding their breath and watching him step by step. About ten steps in front of Lu Xuanjia, Xiao Yin stopped and stared at Lu Xuanjia for two seconds and said, I belong to the Yanlong army. Yes, it endangers the safety of cities and endangers the personal safety of ordinary citizens. Well, you are a bit late. Lu Xuanji nodded slightly, agreeing, and said calmly. He thought that this kind of person should have appeared when the city of the sky fell. However, understand, after all, those with abilities are not gods, they need reaction time. It's like, when I was beaten by Joe Fugi, they didn't show up either. If it weren't for the fall of the Sky City, they wouldn't necessarily appear. At the same time as the voice fell, Xiao Yin had already attacked Lu Xuanjia. He only has two abilities, Vajra not bad and Blood Qi, neither of which are offensive abilities. Xiao Yin's main attack method comes from the martial arts moves he learned after joining the Academia Sinica and the martial skill he obtained from the Secret Realm. At this time, under the dim light, Xiao Yin brought up a afterimage, and while he walked and fisted, Lu Xuanji seemed to really see a ferocious tiger head open his mouth. This is the, martial skill, a non-top giant secret realm, a good thing that is impossible to appear. Sure enough, it was a ninth rank, and Lu Xuanji was a little hard to fight with just the fist wind. However, Lu Xuanji also wanted to try the method of guarding against beasts. Star Enchantment Lu Xuanjia raised his hand, the stars bloomed, and Xiao Yin's fist couldn't move forward. Xiao Yin's eyes condensed, this power is not weaker than tier 9. Isn't it a good beast control? Could it be that he also has a tier 9 defense ability at the same time? Not as complicated as Xiao Yin thought, of course it was only relying on the power of Vermilion Bird. Lu Xuanji himself was only a 7th order. Without the method of guarding against beasts, he would be far from Xiao Yin's opponent. But with the method of guarding the beast, he and Vermilion Bird can be regarded as a whole, the ninth rank Vermilion Bird is not afraid of any enemies of the same rank. Even if it just borrowed the power of Vermilion Bird, it was enough to deal with Xiao Yin. Swiss. Xiao Yin couldn't make a single blow, but Lu Xuanjia used the Land of Stars veins to attack him on both sides. I saw in the sky, the southern Kisu radiance was generous, and the stars swept like sword chi, the earth pulse surged, and soil thorns appeared frequently. Xiao Yin couldn't avoid it. 
Even with Vajra's not bad ability, he was still wounded by the starlight, dripping with blood. However, this inspired his power even more. A uh, da mighty heavenly dragon, martial skill, turned into a golden dragon shadow and roared, smashing the star barrier in front of Lu Xuanjia. Lu Xuanjia fluttered his wings to avoid, with a calm expression, and then led star, only to see the stars converge, turning into a beast-like phantom in seven directions. Jing Muyin, Gaijin Sheep, Lutu Roe Deer, Shingri Horse, Zhang Yulu, Winged Fire Snake, and Water Earthworm. Every night, the starlight is condensed into a beast's shadow, which is the star god under the control of Vermilion Bird. The seven beasts only appeared once, screaming in unison, even if Xiao Yin's blood chi ability could burst out ten times the strength, it was not useful for farts, and was instantly shaken by the roar. And the seven starlight beast shadows also dispersed immediately. Although I was learning the one-handed beast control technique, it was just an introduction after all, and the power borrowed at this time was somewhat beyond the limit of Lu Xuanji's ability. Lu Xuanji sighed with some regret. If the Seven Star God can exist for two seconds, Xiao Yin will undoubtedly die. The two of them fought from beginning to end, but within four or five seconds, Ren Qinxin looked at everything in front of them dumbfounded. What? What is this ability? What about the beast controller? Brother, are you a bit superb? Xiao Yin was stunned by the roar of the star beast, and fell on the ground to smash a big hole with a spider crack. The smell of blood wafted from there, and there was no movement for a long time. Ren Qinxin and the others looked nervously at the sunken ground, as if their heartbeat was about to jump out. Cough, ahem, a few coughs seemed particularly loud in the night, and Xiao Yin stood up from the sunken ground. It's just that the clothes and image have become very miserable, just like the heroic Bufin when he first appeared. The corner of Lu Xuanjia's mouth curled upwards imperceptibly, and he felt a little joyful in his heart. The official person was nothing but that. Lu Xuanji took out the axe on his waist. Stop. Ren Qinxin and the three shouted almost at the same time, and even quickly stepped forward to block him. I could hear their voices with a trace of trepidation. Kill him, you will never turn back, this dragon kingdom, you will never be able to stay. Ren Qinxin persuaded Lu Xuanji. Lu Xuanji just looked down at the axe in his hand, can you stay here now? What do you think he is here for? Quote dot 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 quote. Several people choked for a while, and Lu Xuanji destroyed the sky city in Xinchen City. He was already a sinner in the Long Kingdom society. The official forces could not and could not let him go. Then why do you want to do this? It was originally a grudge with the Chen family at most. This kind of market tyrant, one more and one less, will not care for the central government at all. Du Nansheng couldn't help but ask Lu Xuanji sadly. Quote dot 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 quote. Lu Xuanji pursed his lips, he didn't care at all. Didn't it matter from the moment I decided to avenge Susu and press the enter key to delete the library? Strength is just a tool for him to survive. Live if you can live, and fall down if you can't live. There is nothing terrible about people who are dead in the sky, immortal for thousands of years. The teacher asked me to send this. Ah, you do have this qualification. When the three of them stood in front of Lu Xuanji, persuading and arguing with him, Xiao Yin coughed dry behind him, smiled bitterly and handed out a golden invitation letter. He came under the dual orders of the military ministry and the Academia Sinica, with only one purpose. See if Lu Xuanjia's strength is so strong, strong enough, enough to survive, to be drawn up, and to commit crimes and meritorious service. If it is not strong enough, it is naturally a dead end. Just as the three of Ren Qinxin said, the central government cannot and cannot let Lu Xuanji go. The three of Ren Qinxin looked back and looked shocked and stunned. Jin Zhao, the highest level admission letter of the Academia Sinica is not even an admission letter, but an invitation letter for the strong to join. What is the Academia Sinica? It is the top university and research institution where Long Guo conducts research on all the changes since the New Day. Almost known to human beings are stored there. Since the New Day changes, all the information about these changes has been listed as top secret, no fewer than a thousand. Since the New Day, more than 95% of Tier 9 abilities in the Dragon Kingdom have come out of the Academia Sinica, and the remaining 5% rely on heaven-defying luck. If there are real protagonists in the world, they are the halo of the protagonist. Of course, in terms of this point, Lu Xuanji should now be included in the 5% of the heaven-defying of air luck.
Ren Qinxin is sure that he definitely has the ninth rank. Can you beat Xiao Yin without tier 9? Impossible. But even for the ninth level ability, the Academia Sinica is still a very sacred place. Being able to help them quickly ascension strength is on the one hand, and on the other hand, it also means that joining them will give them a great opportunity to gain supreme glory. And status. Even, it left a rich and colorful stroke in the glorious history of mankind. Even those with the ninth level ability will not necessarily get such a solemn Jin Zhao invitation from the Academia Sinica. The ninth level is also divided into potential and ability strengths, because the ninth level, this year several capable people have successively breakthrough to the ninth and a half, and when they come into contact with the tenth level, it is no longer the highest known realm. Jin Zhao. Lu Xuanzhu squinted his eyes and looked at the Jin Zhao handed out by Xiao Yin, a little startled. That was a piece of news that he and Su Su saw together in their small home a year ago after finishing their day at work. That was the first and only one issued by the Academia Sinica, and even foreign news media came to report. The guest is just a child. The child was 10 years old, but was surrounded by a large group of big people. Even the boss of Longguo's department shook hands and took photos with the child. The child is always very calm. He is an unprecedented 10 abilities, one of which is super prophecy. Among the prophecies in the country, his ability ranks first. He is known as the Almighty Prophet, and some people call him the Son of God. In the past three years, there have been various gossips that the emergence of the capable people was due to the resurrection of the spiritual chi in the legend, and the reason why these awakened people were able to awaken their abilities is actually because the ancestors were legendary. Mythical characters, they awakened a trace of ancestral abilities passed down from their blood. However, there is no official institution in the world that has come out to agree with this statement. That kid, Yun Qian, is the only person with 10 abilities in the world. The Academia Sinica not only handed over Jin Zhao, but also competed with many international forces. Relying on the advantage of being close to the water and the platform, he won him over. Since then, the Academia Sinica has not issued any edicts to anyone. Now, is it your turn? Lu Xuanji looked at the Jin Zhao in Xiao Yin's hand, feeling a little absurd. How long is this? Not long ago, I was still a trash that even my girlfriend could not protect, and I could only stare at an ordinary person with great power ability. Without the power to restrain the chicken, even if he retaliates, he can only start from the affairs at hand, relying on the losses caused to the head office, and let the head office take care of him on his behalf. Lu Xuanji's turbulent heart was suddenly ups and downs of joy and compassion, his expression on his face looked like crying and laughing, so that he finally vented, crying and laughing, like crazy. Xiao Yin frowned, thinking that Lu Xuanji was unwilling to accept this golden edict. After all, what Lu Xuanji showed was an antisocial personality. This kind of people would hardly agree to Zhao An, and would probably go to the dark one by one. But now that he is here, Xiao Yin still did what he should do and made some preparations. If such a person with very strong strength and potential can only break, it will also be a great loss for the Dragon Kingdom. Your ancestor was a political official in Luan County, and your grandfather's generation made your Lu family a big family that affected the entire southwestern region. Thirty years ago, your uncle was down because of corruption and bribery. The Lu family took a turn for the worse and disappeared in less than two or three years. I have thoroughly investigated this matter above, thinking that you have been persecuted by previous political opponents. The result is that your grandfather took the initiative to restrain the descendants and their descendants to be low-key. Thing. I believe that your family has feelings for the land where you grew up. Do you think you will never be able to walk in the sunshine of this dragon country in the future? Xiao Yin persuaded. Grandpa, Lu Xuanji paused, touching the corners of his eyes for tears, whether he was laughing or crying. How could the identity of Grandpa be so simple as an ordinary little old man in this world? Lu Xuanjia believed that if he was willing, it would not be impossible to subvert the entire Dragon Kingdom. Has Grandpa ever done that? Was the Lu family once a big family in Luan County? Lu Xuanji looked blank. Since he was born, he only knew that he was just a child of an ordinary family. Both parents are small staff in Xinchen City. A family of three lives in a house less than 90 square meters. When there are holidays and festivals, the parents will bring themselves back to their hometown in the country to visit Grandpa. 
When he was a child, he always lived with his grandfather in his hometown in the country. It's not Luan County, it's just a small village on the outskirts of Xinchen City. What the hell now, is what Xiao Yin said is true. Lu Xuanji frowned, not thinking that Xiao Yin would lie to him at this time, and it was unnecessary. In his capacity, he should be able to easily find out the background of his ancestors in the 18th generation. Of course, that has to be the background under which Grandpa agrees. Lu Xuanjia is now very curious about his grandfather who rushed out of the solar system. Getting along day and night, Grandpa, how much did you hide from me? Seeing his expression, Xiao Yin thought that his previous persuasion had taken effect, which made Lu Xuanji more worried. So, continue to persuade. We have helped you send your parents' ashes back to your ancestral grave for burial. If you want, you can also recognize your ancestors. Your grandfather left the Lu family back then and only took away your parents, but in fact, you still have two sisters and three uncles. It was all adopted by your grandfather, Xiao Yin did not say. Is there, Lu Xuanjun became even more daunted. What kind of grudges and grievances can make grandpa completely ignore the existence of his own uncle and aunts, and his parents, too, have not moved for more than 20 years? The Lu family is still acceptable in Luan County. If you have time, you can go back and have a look. Xiao Yin continued. Of course, if you insist on being an enemy of the country. Are you threatening me? Lu Xuanji suddenly squinted his eyes and questioned Xiao Yin. No, I just think that we may have a better way of getting along, and you can also have other options outside of the country. Xiao Yin explained. For Lu Xuanji's dangerous antisocial personality, he would naturally not irritate him unreasonably. What we can do now is to fight for it as much as possible. If we can get it, maybe we have to arrange a psychotherapist to give him psychological counseling. A master is important, but a master who is emotionally unstable and insists on harming society can only be a source of danger. Is there any other choice? Lu Xuanji smiled bitterly. Xiao Yin nodded affirmatively, again handed the Jin Zhao in his hand, and said with a bit of bluntness, you will know when you go to see the outside world with me in the future. I haven't asked you yet, why should I trespass my parents' ashes? Lu Xuanji looked down at the Jin Zhao in Xiao Yin's hand, sneered, and asked Xiao Yin. But at this time, in fact, Lu Xuanji was already a little moved. If he can, he doesn't want to be an enemy of long country. There is no complicated reason, just because this is the place where he grew up and was proud of it. He is dissatisfied with the social status quo of the Dragon Kingdom over the past three years. As an ordinary person, he has accumulated countless grievances against those with abilities in the past three years. But he actually knows that even the state machine, when faced with the drastic changes three years ago, can do what it is now, it is already good. It was a carnival of terrorism. All the factors of restlessness were stimulated, and the drastic changes occurred in the early stage. There were even cases where ordinary people became slaves and were bought and sold wantonly by the capable. Lu Xuanjia's parents also died in such a battle between ordinary people's self-preservation and conflicts with those with early stage ability, but he alone survived. This also made Lu Xuanji deeply self-blame for a while. He couldn't understand why he couldn't even protect his parents, and why he wasn't the one who died. During that time, Su Su had been with him, and he had to be wary of being arrested and unkind. The chaotic period did not last long. The three families of Xinchen City who became kings on their own surrendered when the official army was approaching the city, declaring loyalty to the country, obeying the country, and unconditionally abiding by the laws of the country. Order in Xinchen City is gradually restored, and ordinary people have room to survive. It's just that everything will never go back to before the new day. In the face of the power of capable people emerging from all over the country, the official forces can only suppress them in the overall situation, and more detailed regulations can't do it at all. During those three years, Lu Xuanji felt that he was a trash, and he was indeed a trash. In this way, is he actually qualified to blame a country that knows he can't do anything, or tries his best to maintain justice in the new world? Dot dot dot. Xiao Yin could only give a wry smile to Lu Xuanji's question at this time, sorry, I should have asked for your consent first. The ashes of Lu Xuanji's parents are placed in the central storage point in the city, Xinchen Funeral Home. Ordinary people like him can only afford such a price. 
Liu Xuanji originally planned to take away his parents' ashes when he left by himself, but he did not expect that there would be an olive branch handed over by Xiao Yin and threatened with his parents' ashes. Liu Xuanji glanced at Xiao Yin and agreed with his apology. He knew that Xiao Yin did this just to hold himself a handle and make himself scrupulous. But after all, it was only sent back to the ancestral grave, and nothing else was done. I'll go to the Academia Sinica to see what is your requirement. Lu Xuanji grabbed Xiao Yin's Jin Zhao and asked him. The teacher didn't say any requirements, but our military department hopes that you can participate in the second Global Ability Summit in the near future. Xiao Yin replied. Global Ability Summit. Lu Xuanji was surprised. So high-end, could he participate in such a big scene now? What's the feeling that is a bit unreal? Xiao Yin looked at him. In fact, it was not whether he could, but he had to participate. This is a meeting of the world's top talents, and it is also a game between big countries and a demonstration of their own cutting-edge power. If this competition is lost, the whole country will not be better off. We will reset an identity for you. Xiao Yin continued. After all, Lu Xuanji destroyed the Sky City in Xinchen City, and the impact was too great. In the future, he will appear in the public eye with integrity and represent the official image. He must change his identity and face. No, I don't care what you do. I, Lu Xuanji, don't change my name or surname. I can only be Lu Xuanjia. Lu Xuanjia resolutely rejected Xiao Yin's proposal. Quote dot 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 quote. Xiao Yin was silent, his expression a little embarrassed. You are still hanging on the homepage of the website of the Ministry of Urban Safety. It's not difficult for you to withdraw, right? Lu Xuanji asked back. It's not difficult to remove, but to eliminate the impact. I don't care about it. Anyway, I must be Lu Xuanji. If not, why should I take refuge in you? Lu Xuanji refused to compromise. If it was just a change of status, he could do it himself, but it was not as convenient as Xiao Yin and the others. But if you do that, it means that you will remain anonymous in the future, completely exist as another person, and be careful everywhere to avoid being discovered by others. If that is the case, there is no need to seek refuge in the Academia Sinica. Isn't it the same effect to escape by yourself? It's just that there are more official pursuits, which is the most indifferent to Lu Xuanjia. Xiao Yin glanced at Lu Xuanji fixedly. Seeing his resolute attitude, he finally nodded. Okay, I will report your request to the above truthfully. I hope you can report to the military department before the third of next month. Before going to the global summit, we will conduct a comprehensive evaluation of your strength and create a file, book. Lu Xuanji nodded, it didn't matter where he went, and the military headquarters might be a place that would make him more satisfied. And you, the academy has contacted you several times. If you don't want to go back, I don't want to go back. I think you don't graduate this year. After negotiating with Lu Xuanji, Xiao Yin glanced at the three of Ren Qinxin, reminded. Ren Qinxin and others looked stiff, that is, their status is not equal, otherwise they will have to argue a few words. I am so special, if we just stood up, maybe you were all killed by Lu Xuanji, but now it's okay, I don't know how to be grateful, and I still reprimand us like this. Do you know what kind of murder weapon the axe in his hand is? Ren Qinxin turned away the axe that Lu Xuanji had inserted back to his waist if nothing had happened, and his expression was a bit dissatisfied. But it's the same reason. They are not equal to Xiao Yin's status. At this time, they can only answer with a wry smile. I know, I will report back to school. Having said that, Xiao Yin turned and left on his own, without intending to be with Lu Xuanji and the others. This guy has a weird temper, do you guys know? Lu Xuanji looked back and pulled up his own mysterious turtle shell, and asked the three of Ren Qinxin. Quote dot 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 quote. Ren Qinxin and the others looked weird again, no matter how strange they are, you are no stranger. What's so special, the city in the sky was destroyed, so I don't even understand what you think now. Not only weird, but also ferocious. I'm the senior of the school. I've seen him a few times. It's not that familiar. You should often see him on TV. No, Lu Xuanji recalled, touching his chin. What channel do you watch? Du Nancheng asked Lu Xuanji after hearing the words. Evening news, variety channels, talent shows. The three of them looked at Lu Xuanji with weird faces. Well, 
Besides the evening news, they are all the programs that Shanyu loves to watch, which can make civilians feel satisfied easily. Sure enough, he was a weird person. Regarding the things that Lu Xuanji did, they didn't think that Lu Xuanji would be someone who liked watching these programs. Our hotel was blown up by you, you, as a local, take us to find a place to live, isn't it too much? Ren Qinxin asked Lu Xuanjia in the direction of the ruins of the Sky City. Yes, as the tour guide fee, you pay. Lu Xuanji nodded and agreed. Yu, Meng Hongyu was anxious, rolling up her sleeves gritted teeth. Too much deception, how much money can be spent in a hotel, this guy is definitely deliberate. Ren Qinxin grabbed her and replied to Lu Xuanji, Okay. It's not that Lu Xuanji must be with them now, but they must be with Lu Xuanji. Ren Qinxin understood this point. As the person invited by Jin Zhao from the Academia Sinica, even if he has not yet enrolled, his status is not comparable to that of the three, not to mention the strength of Lu Xuanjia, which is even more crushing for the three. Just now, Xiao Yin's attitude has also been seen. There are only advantages to getting to know such a person, but no harm. To offend Lu Xuanji for the money of the hotel for one night, isn't that fooled by lard? Ha, huh, Meng Hongyu naturally knew this, but she was just too angry. She was just doing it and didn't plan to actually do it. When Qinxin stopped, she went down the slope. Several people brought huge black tortoise shells moving in the city streets, and from time to time the tortoise shells hit the light poles on the roadside, making loud noises. Especially when passing through a relatively narrow street, the whole street was completely black after a crash. Lu Xuanjia walked ahead pulling the tortoise shell wildly, and allowing Qinxin and a few people to push behind him. Seeing that a dozen street lamps were killed along the way, Lu Xuanjia turned his head and looked at the darkened street, lost in thought. How so? People from the city management office will find us to compensate, right? I don't know if there is monitoring. Go, clang. Kong bang bang. The three of Ren Qinxin looked at the black shadow in front of them, speechless for a while. Dage, wait. Isn't it just a few street lights? You even ruined the city in the sky, what are a few street lights? I suspect he just wants to get rid of us. Rao was as prudent as Ren Chinchin, at this time he couldn't help but spit out a classic national curse. Zhe Lu is not such a person. The sky city is just to vent its grievances against the capable, and can't control herself. He is so panicked even to break a few street lights. Lu Zhe is still kind by nature. Du Nansheng is looking ahead. The black shadow said with a certain face. Ren Qinxin's eyes jumped and he patted Du Nansheng on the back of his head. Can you be more naive? You say that forcing is kind. It would be more practical to show that the sky is the end of the world. The three hurried to catch up and stopped in front of a five-star hotel in a ground-level city. Lu Xuanjia dragged the tortoise shell and caused a huge noise to wake up nine out of ten of the sleeping guests in the five-star hotel. No, it should be said to be awakened. 501. What sound? Earthquake. 625. Humph. A small place is a small place. A five-star hotel is so spicy. Go and see. What happened? Dot dot dot. The awakened guests came to the window and looked out. I saw a hill appeared out of nowhere in front of the hotel. Upon closer inspection, I found that it was an upside-down turtle shell, which was full of flesh, bones, and a few big burdens. And at the front end of the huge tortoise shell stood a tiny figure, it seemed that this, hill, was dragged over by him. Everyone couldn't help but rub their own eyes, thinking they were dreaming. It's so ridiculous that everyone's brains are a little down. Such a big tortoise shell, wouldn't it be a tier 8 or 9 fierce beast that was smashed off? The common perception among the capable people of the beast is that the stronger the strength, the larger the body. Although there are exceptions that are strong and small in size, they are rare, and there are almost none with weak strength and large size. Stop. What did you do? Several hotel security guards ran out and asked Lu Xuanji with a dark face. The tortoise shells he dragged destroyed several flower beds and street lamps outside the hotel. Stay in a store. Lu Xuanji replied calmly. At this time, the lobby manager of the hotel walked out quickly and waved away several security guards, Guests, please hear. Not to mention other things, if you can drag such a lot of things with one hand, this is not a capable person that their hotel can afford. 
Hao Ting Hotel, the only five-star hotel in the ground city, its owner is a tier six capable person of the Zheng family. Even if he was a hotel attendant in the past, it can be said to be domineering in the ground city and no one dares to mess with it. But it's not working lately. Recently, when the Sky City landed, in just one or two days, many strong people appeared in Xinchen City, even the big boss behind them couldn't afford it. The original domineering hotel service staff, after frequent losses in the past two days, can be regarded as a good student. Among them, the worst was a female foreman, who relied on being the little lover of the personnel manager, and sometimes she dared to show off in front of guests. Just yesterday, the guest living in 501 now killed her backhand and reported to the city guard. The guards came and took a look. They politely retreated from 501, and there was nothing wrong with them. Later, the gossip in the hotel spread. There are several theories. The most reliable one is, the guests in the 501 room are from the Qin Palace in Chang'an. Chang'an belongs to the Central Plains region, the core city of the Central Plains, and the palace of the King of Qin is the top leader in Chang'an. Before the New Day, the Qin family was just a relatively low-key family in Chang'an. During the New Day's chaos, the Qin family established itself as king. Later, under the suppression of the People's Army, they could only agree with the official management, but the Qin Palace, originally built was still retained, and the name of its forces was also named Qin Palace. At the beginning, in order to surrender the Qin Palace, the official forces spent a full six months, which was one of the places that took the longest time to suppress. Nowadays, in Chang'an City, there are still many palace-like buildings built at the time of the Qin Palace. Although the dream of self-reliance as a king cannot be realized, those buildings are still being built. Now that three years have passed, King Qin's mansion has basically become a huge building complex that occupies one-tenth of the area in Chang'an City. As for the Sky City in Chang'an, it is still under construction for two reasons. One is because the building scale of the Sky City in Chang'an is designed to be relatively large, and the other is that there is no suitable energy to support the operation of the Sky City for the time being. Like the burning heart of Xinchen City, it can be said that the three big families have gone out of shit luck. Other Sky Cities also use similar spar as the energy source of the Sky City. The most famous sky city of Chang'hai City uses five spars of different attributes as energy sources, which are controlled by the five major forces in Chang'hai City. And the sky city in Chang'hai City is also the most prosperous and powerful sky city in the Dragon Kingdom today. The defense mechanism of the entire sky city alone can resist the attack of the ninth tier semi-powerful. In this way, the Prince of Qin's mansion came to a small place like Xinchen City, which can be said to be walking sideways. The big boss of Tier 6 ability behind Hao Ting Hotel is unworthy of carrying shoes in front of others. And such people have come to more than one family these days. Because the Sky City of Xinchen City is gone, and the only ground-level city is the five-star hotel, Hao Ting, these awakened powerhouses from large places basically live in Hao Ting. In just two days, the arrogance of all the staff of Hao Ting was directly brought back. I don't know if the distinguished guest is from, the lobby manager asked Lu Xuanjia cautiously. Don't you know me? Lu Xuanjia pointed to himself and asked amusedly. Under the bright crystal lamp in the hotel lobby, the lobby manager took a closer look at Lu Xuanji and was shocked. Lu Xuanji, the chaos in Xinchen City is all caused by him. I heard that the city security headquarters has sent a whole team of people to deal with this matter. Even the guests from Bufin in the hotel are all because of him. The lobby manager's heart jumped wildly. In his eyes, Lu Xuanji was a dangerous thug. What kind of guest is this? This is a thief. People from the Ministry of Urban Security will not let him go. Ah, I'm sorry, I can't recognize the distinguished guest. I don't know what room the distinguished guest would like to book. The lobby manager rolled his eyes and did not open it, but pretended not to recognize Lu Xuanji, still humble. Asked with a smile at him. Presidential suite. They pay. Lu Xuanji pointed to the three Ren Chinchin who followed behind him. The trio's footsteps stiffened, and the corners of their mouths twitched. Although they had agreed before, at this moment, seeing Lu Xuanji like an uncle, instructing them to take money, he still felt a little inexplicably trying to force Lai Lai. A few. Swipe the card. Ren Chinchin took out a bank card and said. 
he comes from a family, although he is not a top power in the country, he still has some money. Hey, the lobby manager took it, and said to several people, room 701. After speaking, he hurriedly greeted the waiter to take the luggage for a few people. Lu Xuanji took out a few burdens, with the scent of turtle meat, causing the two waiters who were helpless in front of the huge turtle shells to pinch their noses and retreat. Lu Xuanji gave them a white look, little brother, this may be the closest you have been to tier 9 fierce beast meat in your life. Your garage, don't you know if you can put down my turtle shell? Lu Xuanji then asked the lobby manager. This, I'm sorry, I'm afraid it won't work. The lobby manager was embarrassed and said perfunctorily. He planned to settle in Lu Xuanji and immediately report to the people from the Ministry of Urban Security. Then put it in the yard. Lu Xuanji hesitated and said. Mainly because people come and go in the yard, they are afraid that someone will not open their eyes and take his things. But since I can't let it go, there is only this. Mingui, Yingyu, you take good care of my things in the yard. Lu Xuanji gave orders to the two little shadow attendants. At this time, the two shadow servants have grown to the size of 17 or 18 years old. Their appearance will basically not change, and their strength has reached the fifth rank. The power of indifferent darkness at night is not enough for them. Only after a long time of absorption and refining can it be upgraded, but if it can absorb souls, it should be able to upgrade faster. You let us do such trivial things? Mingui asked dissatisfiedly. Do you call this a trivial matter? I tell you, these are several small goals. If they are secretly taken, you only want to ask. Lu Xuanjia said solemnly. This is his startup capital. Quote dot 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 quote. Mingui was speechless. He had no idea about the currency of this world, but in the world of their shadows, how much money he wanted. Isn't this a trivial matter? Arranged for Lu Xuanji to stay, the lobby manager rushed to the city guard to report the letter. At this time, people from the other two major families in Xinchen City were hosting a banquet for those who came from the city security headquarters. Lu Xuanji was standing by the window, watching the lobby manager who had been entertaining them ran out hurriedly and drove away. Behind him, Ren Qinxin's voice came, What are you looking at? I'll call you the money. We are going to eat. Do you want to be together? No need. Lu Xuanji refused without turning his head. Let's go. We are all classmates of the same school, so don't be so dismissive. Du Nansheng persuaded. Lu Xuanji calmly took out a piece of black turtle meat that he had just brought up, and threw it into the microwave. Quote dot 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 quote. The three of them were stunned for a moment when they watched this scene. Okay, it's convenient and affordable. Tier 9 fierce beast meat is much more upscale than the fancy dishes in the hotel. After all, delicious food cannot be ascension strength, but tier 9 fierce beast meat can. At the same time, several acquaintances met unexpectedly in the corridor outside 701. There were a total of 12 people, three parties, and when they found each other, they couldn't help but stop. Zhao Chengxuan, the youngest person with the eighth level of the Zhao family in Shanghai City, is also a scholar of the fourth phase of the Academia Sinica, and is regarded as the younger brother of Ren Qinxin and others. Although he is a junior, his strength is not weaker than that of Meng Hongyu and Du Nansheng at this time, and the two people who are following him are even more practical ninth-level masters. On this trip, he came on behalf of the family to investigate the true or false of the birth of the Phoenix Beast. If it is true, this beast controller must win their Zhao family. If it can't, it's better to destroy it. Li Min, Gongzhou Li Yuanda Miss, is rumored to be a person with three abilities, one of which is also to control beasts. Among those who control beasts in the Dragon Kingdom, he ranks fifth, despise. At this moment, she was followed by a group of servants, the maid. Among them, the old man in Tang suit halfway behind her is said to be the entire Dragon Kingdom, the most likely to be the fourth breakthrough to ninth and a half capable master. The first three are all settled. Two of the Academia Sinica, one dean, one deputy dean, and one military department are legends in the military, like martial kings. The old man in Tang costume was named Tang Fenghong, and before the new day, he was an elder from the Tang family, a famous door in Shuzhong. Due to the new day, he was given a strange treasure, and the patriarch of the Tang family forced him to surrender the strange treasure. And after several years of recuperation, 
his strength has risen to the forefront of the Dragon Kingdom powerhouse by leaps and bounds, which is also something that the Tang family regretted. Now, this adult is walking with Li Yuan to miss, which shows that Li Yuan attaches great importance to Phoenix. As for the remaining four people, it was the 501 guests who made the lobby manager fear and respect. On the day of check-in, they committed murder because of the offense of the foreman. The palace of the Qin prince consists of four persons, Qin Tianyi, Qin Tianxi, Qin Tianlin and Qin Tianqi. The four are brothers of the same generation, all of whom have awakened good abilities at the beginning of the new day. Coupled with the help of family forces, Ruyi and Tianlin are already tier 9 powerhouses today, and the remaining two are also tier 8. The trio of people met unexpectedly before 701, and their eyes turned, seeming to burst into flames. At this moment, the door of 701 opened, and the three of Ren Chinchin were going to go out for dinner. Seeing this scene, they were embarrassed on the spot. After a few seconds, he came back to his senses, and his expression couldn't help but be a little weird. Ma yeah, these guys, not a national convention, can't get them together, and now they've gotten to this door with a brainstorm. Ren Chinchin glanced back, and naturally knew that these guys were all here for Lu Xuanji. I can't help feeling a little bit in my heart, exciting. Brother Lu, you have guests. Ren Chinchin shouted into the house. Ha, huh, Lu Xuanjia turned his head in surprise and walked over. Can't help but wonder, so fast. Can't it? The lobby manager just went out, the people at the city security headquarters shouldn't be so soon. You are. When he walked to the door and saw these tense and tense guys, Lu Xuanji couldn't help but look at them and asked. The eyes of everyone instantly fell on Lu Xuanjia's body, and then fixed on the red bird on his shoulder. Hello, I'm Gongzhou Mansion, Li Min from Li Yuan, I came here to visit. Li Min, who was surrounded by the Li family, stretched out his hand generously to Lu Xuanji and laughed. Big, big, big long legs. When Lu Xuanji saw Li Min's first glance, he couldn't help being attracted by her perfect figure. Li Min's first impression is of a very fashionable and avant-garde young girl, the most eye-catching is her pair of long legs that cannot be ignored. This also makes her figure look extraordinarily tall, a bit more fat and a bit thinner. Li Min is not very tall, it is just the height of a relatively normal girl, about 1.7 meters, but the aura on her body, coupled with this pair of long legs, makes her look extraordinarily tall and strong. Lu Xuanjia looked at it for a moment, then retracted his gaze, raised his hand to shake hands with Li Min, and quickly took his hand back. Li Min's figure is indeed the kind that can satisfy all men in the world. However, this kind of woman is the biggest trouble in the world and cannot be touched. Since he couldn't touch her, and he didn't like her, Lu Xuanji felt that there was no need to deal with her deeply. Seeing Lu Xuanjia quickly withdraw his own hand, Li Min couldn't help squinting his eyes. I couldn't help but feel a little funny in my heart. Those men who could shake their own hands in the past were eager to take their own hands and talk for three days and three nights. This kid turned out to be as if he was a rogue and wanted to take advantage of him. But since Lu Xuanjia withdrew his hand back, Li Min also retracted his hand very naturally and gathered the hair around his ears, but his eyes focused on Vermilion Bird on Lu Xuanjia's shoulder. I heard that Mr. Lu is the animal controller, and so am I. My father heard about Mr. Lu's deeds and asked me to exchange experience in animal control with Mr. Lu. I think we should be very topical. Li Min smiled calmly and said. A little golden beast sprang out from behind her, like a cat, with dazzling gold hair-like satin texture, three tails on the back of her buttocks, and a bunch of flowing hair on each of her pointed ears. The whole little beast looks like a cat instead of a cat, like a tiger instead of a tiger, it seems to have a kind of extravagance. Lu Xuanjia looked at this little beast, and was also a little curious, what kind of creature is this special cat? It should be an abnormal type. After the new day, ordinary animals that have gained abilities are called fierce beasts, and those that have changed their appearance are called strange beasts. This kind of strange beast is much stronger than the fierce beast in ability, and has higher intelligence and more spirituality. This long-haired three-tailed golden cat should be a strange beast. However, no matter what strange beasts or fierce beasts are, labor and capital are playing with beasts. Lu Xuanji smiled faintly, I don't think so. Before the words came to an end, the three-tailed golden cat leapt towards Zhu Shaok. 
The change was a bit sudden, and everyone was shocked. Only Li Min's expression was indifferent, as if he had already predicted it. The beast controller can control the fierce beasts around him, not to mention that Li Min is a ninth order beast, and the golden cat is her beast pet that she usually gets along with day and night, and there is no possibility of losing control at all. Yuan Bao, stop. Just half a second after the golden retriever started, Li Min calmly said to the golden cat. She just wanted to test whether the little red bird on Lu Xuanji's shoulder was the phoenix in the videos and pictures streaming from Xinchen City. A strange beast such as a golden cat can usually become a small animal, and when fighting, it can transform into another more powerful form. Li Min believes that if the little red bird is really phoenix, it is also possible. The odd beast can do it, but why can't the divine beast? She thought that she could make the phoenix come to life. However, in the face of Yuan Bao's sudden attack, vermilion bird's drooping eyelids opened and he only glared at Yuan Bao. When Yuan Bao flew into the air, he froze and trembled all over. The next moment, a ball of flame spurted out, directly knocking the whole ingot away. The ingot turned into a golden ball wrapped in flames, flew out, and fell on the wall. The flame scorched its golden retriever to black, then slowly extinguished. Although they are both at the ninth level, Vermilion Bird is one of the four sacred beasts, the four divinities of the sky is also a fire, while the ingot is a metal, which happens to be restrained by Vermilion Bird. Although it was just a casual blow, it was enough to damage the ingot. Yuan Bao, Li Min, who was planning to apologize to Lu Xuanjia on the pretext of inferiority and uncontrollable nature, was startled and shouted. After all, it is not uncommon for cats to like to flutter birds. It's just that Li Min guessed the beginning, but couldn't guess the end. Vermilion Bird is not Phoenix. Defeating Yuan Bao does not need to be transformed into something. Li Min almost subconsciously rushed towards the ingot, holding the ingot in his arms. When she found that the ingot was still there, she was relieved, and when she raised her hand, a green light was thrown on the ingot. Healing Ability very rare ability, Lu Xuanjia muttered in surprise. Although he was just an ordinary person before, he would read the news from time to time. In the past three years, the classification of various abilities has matured, and even a few books have been published specifically to talk about this. Healing ability is a much rarer ability than controlling beasts. There are no more than ten people with healing ability in the entire Dragon Kingdom. I'm sorry, my bird is called Angry Birds, and it's not light or heavy. Lu Xuanji touched the fluffy feathers of Vermilion Bird and said to Li Min. Quote dot 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 quote. Li Min wasn't in the mood to care about him at all, and left with his ingot. Tang Fenghong twitched the corner of his mouth and hurriedly shouted to Li Min, Miss. The master asked you to pull people. Regardless of whether Lu Xuanji's side is just Phoenix, its strength is now seen, and the people of the Qin Palace and the Zhao family have not left, how can we go? Even if there is no specific plan, at least he should stay and make sure that Lu Xuanji will not be taken away by the other two. However, Li Min didn't want to bother about this, and hurried away holding the ingot. Tang Fenghong sighed helplessly, and could only wink at the other people around him and let them follow. This little girl is very good to the cat, Zhu Shaok suddenly said, making the expressions of the people who remained even more exciting. Can talk, even though the people from the Zhao family and the Qin Palace were well informed, this was the first time I saw a talking beast pet. It's impossible, it's really the legendary phoenix. Everyone couldn't help but strengthen this idea. This question is actually very important. For an animal controller, the most important thing is the animal pet around him and a tier 9 ordinary fierce beast, compared with a phoenix beast of unknown strength, in any case, the phoenix beast won the battle. Even if this phoenix only has the strength of tier 1, it is a complete victory. Not to mention that in ancient records, phoenix is often a symbol of auspiciousness, and the description of phoenix's strength is even more fascinating. They knew that phoenix's potential was there, and it was not comparable to any kind of beast. What's more, the strength of this little bird, as I just saw it, is definitely not weak. You are so embarrassed to say with such a heavy hand. Lu Xuanjia rolled his eyes and flicked Vermilion Bird's head with his fingers. It's just a conditioned reflex, a metallic kitten, it's not bad to burn it to death. Vermilion Bird argued. Watching one person and one beast arguing, the four of the Qin Palace looked at each other, 
and Dage Chin Tianyi stepped forward to greet Lu Xuanji, Brother Lu, in Sha Chin Tianyi, I have heard of such geniuses as brothers, here to make friends. We Chin Palace is always thirsty. If you have nowhere to go, you might as well go to our Chin Palace. As soon as Chin Tianyi came up, he went straight to the theme of the invitation, behaving quite boldly. After all, they didn't think that Lu Xuanji was a fool, and now the three families gathered in front of Lu Xuanji's door, the meaning was obvious. It's better to be more straightforward than to circumvent and toss about it. Maybe it will leave a good impression. Moreover, what Qin Tianyi said was clearly a reminder to Lu Xuanjia that his situation was not good. His Prince Qin Mansion was willing to take in Lu Xuanji and pay for the consequences he caused. However, they probably didn't know that the official people had already approached Lu Xuanji first. Qin Tianyi, be careful. The classmates of the Academia Sinica are still here. Tang Fenghong immediately squinted his eyes and reminded Qin Tianyi. The Academia Sinica also represents half of the official. If the official wants to pursue Lu Xuanji, Qin Tianyi's words are tantamount to confronting the official face to face, and he wants to cover Lu Xuanji with great fanfare. Lu Xuanji just smiled faintly at the fight between the two. If you must choose a force to take refuge in, of course he must choose the most powerful force. At this time, the gap between the official and these local forces came out. More importantly, no matter what the Qin Palace, Zhao family, Li Garden. From now on, he will be a person with a different surname from these forces, and everything must be based on the interests of the family. You are still an outsider. What's the point? Not to mention the olive branch with official forces, even if he doesn't, he won't take refuge in these forces. Don't stand at the door, come in for a drink. Lu Xuanji turned and walked towards the room. As the presidential suite of a five-star hotel, the living room space is quite large, and there is even a special meeting area. Everyone sat down separately, Lu Xuanji ignored them, instead took out the black turtle meat he had bitten from the microwave, and sat aside to eat. Even though you start your performance, I'm watching it. Chapter 71 The four brothers of the Prince Qin Mansion, Zhao Chengxuan, Tang Fenghong and others looked at each other, and their eyes exchanged fiercely. For a while, the scene was a bit cold, and it was all the sound of Lu Xuanji eating. Everyone, what the hell are you talking about? Lu Xuanji hiccuped and asked several people. Zhao, has nothing to do. He just heard that heroes like Lu Brothers happen to be staying in a hotel now and want to have friendship with Lu Brothers. Zhao Chengxuan smiled and said to Lu Xuanjia's cupped fist. After all, the Zhao family is still halfway behind the powers of King Qin's mansion and Li Yuan, even if he has brought two ninth-tier masters with him, this strength is still weaker. Hero, Lu Xuanjia almost laughed so that black turtle flesh came out from his nostrils. Sure enough, all of them are talents, and they speak nicely. I really like being with them. Lu Xuanji, who ruined the city in the sky, is not a hero, right? Whether it is for civilians or for officials. Even if the three dominance of Xinchen City is broken, it may be a little profit for the government. But it definitely does more harm than good. The impact of this incident is too great. It not only endangers the safety of the city, but also has a certain impact on people's livelihood. In addition, there is no Chen family in Xinchen City, and there are two families of Deng and Zhang. There is not much difference between the three families and the decentralization of the two families. Official city officials still cannot take control of the entire city into their own hands, surpassing these two family forces. Uncle Zhao is absurdly praised, what a hero I am, and the bears are almost the same. There should be a lot of people out there who want to kill me. Lu Xuanji smiled. But he didn't regret it. When he returned to the beginning, he could not wait to take the whole world to be buried with Susu and finally go to death with him. Destroying the Sky City in Xinchen City was only a way to relieve some of his resentment. As time passed, his anger faded, and he also knew that this world is not only vegetarian, life, it must continue to live. And he can't even change anything. There are some things that can be done not only by having high strength. I never expect anything to be right, nor do I want to be the hero of the world, I just want to be your hero. But everything, it is too late, now I think about it, but you are protecting me who is willful and reckless. Lu Xuanji smiled and sighed, why couldn't it be a day earlier? Just one day. Why, I was so careless at the beginning and didn't find Susu's abnormality. Now I think about it again, 
Just the night before Susu went to find Joe Fugi in order to keep his job, Susu also discussed Joe Fugi with himself. But at that time, he was still angry about Joe Fugi's harassment of Susu. When he said it, he was angry and clamoring that he would kill Joe Fugi himself next time. However, at that time, he didn't have that ability at all. Compared with Own's naivety, Susu is too calm. She is collecting information on Joe Fugi's various misdeeds in the company. Lu Xuanji thought that Susu was just like himself, just a momentary anger. In the face of Joe Fugi, such a person with great power at the bottom, ordinary people can't do anything at all. After the new day, the awakened appeared, and the ability weapons appeared frequently. Now that they are basically capable, they can buy the ability weapons directly with their ID cards. However, ordinary thermal weapons are controlled by ordinary people and cannot be purchased by ordinary people. That is basically the only way ordinary people can cause harm to the capable, and the capable does not allow this threat to exist. Lu Xuanji did kill Zhou Fugi, but unfortunately, it was no longer helpful. It can only be said that the good fortune in the world is the most tricky. Zhao Chengxuan's expression changed when he heard Lu Xuanjia's words, and he could see that he was a little unhappy. Go to your uncle, so you look at the same age as me, okay. Zhao Chengxuan is the youngest rank 8 capable person in the entire Zhao family. Although Xinri is still three years ago, the strength of the capable person basically does not depend on age, but on luck. However, Zhao Chengxuan still cared very much that he was the title of, the youngest tier 8 capable person, of the Zhao family. Mr. Lu don't have to belittle yourself. You already have the Beast Phoenix, and you are already on the throne of the first Beast Control, surpassing Long Gangsing, maybe it's just a meeting. Tang Fenghong said. The number one among all kinds of abilities is officially certified. From the number one in the region, number one in the country, and number one in the world, there are special organizations that can be certified. In order for Lu Xuanjia to become the number one beast controller, in addition to his own reputation and the recognition of the country's top beast controlling talents, he also needs to fight the current beast control number one, compete against each other. Lu Xuanjia didn't think such a false name was controversial, but since he had obtained the inheritance of the royal beast sect, he would not allow anyone to be the first to control the beast in front of him. Regarding the inheritance of the royal beast sect, Lu Xuanji actually had a little idea of his own. Not long ago, the first sect was born after the New Day, and its sect leader was a ninth-tier powerhouse from the Academia Sinica. Since it is sect, it is natural to teach the cultivation method, but for today's capable people, they basically cross the river by touching the stones, and there is no cultivation method at all. The way of ascension strength is only the most primitive. As time goes by, the ability is automatically ascension. Artificially increase the speed of ascension, that is, eating fierce beast meat, elixir, etc. Some people have tried to use the energy in the spar to ascension, but ultimately failed. After all, the spar cannot be eaten, and the energy contained in it is much more violent than elixir and meat. Nowadays, the maximum utilization of spar by human beings is to select the best among them to provide the kinetic energy required for the operation of the machine. This is the status quo of most capable people, but the cultivation method does not exist. The Academia Sinica has such research materials. Therefore, the ninth level ability person was able to establish the first sect. Although it was called sect externally, it was approved by the academy in terms of procedural qualifications. It is equivalent to a pilot university under the Academia Sinica, and naturally, it has much lower status and resources than the Academia Sinica. Lu Xuanjia has the inheritance of the royal beast sect. In theory, everyone can be turned into a beast controller. In fact, ordinary people can also cultivate the royal beast cultivation technique, but there is a difference between high and low talents. If he can create a power, innate's advantages will be stronger than the pilot colleges under the Academia Sinica. After all, the cultivation cultivation technique of royal beast sect is mature. Not only has the one-handed beast defense technique of Tianzun Royal Beast, but also many genres and spells derived from later generations. The Royal Beast sect itself is also an extremely powerful sect. Perhaps, Lu Xuanjia can make the Royal Beast sect reappear in the world. Tang Fenghong's words were actually a trick of temptation. He was still testing whether Zhu Xiao was the legendary phoenix. Lu Xuanji drank a sip of boiled water and replied, 
who told you that I have the Beast Phoenix? I am indeed the Beast Controller. I am a Ninth Order bird, but it is not a Phoenix. Liu Xuanji lowered his head and glanced at Zhu Shaok. It's not Phoenix, it's half the chip higher than Phoenix, Vermilion Bird. Isn't it Phoenix? Tang Fenghong asked with squinting eyes. Liu Xuanji's tone didn't look like a fake, but he still didn't believe it. If it weren't for Phoenix, how could the ingot be severely injured with just a casual blow? The ingot is also a ninth order, and it is also a ninth order strange beast. Normally, it can deal with two ninth order abilities for half a day. It's not Phoenix, Liu Xuanji replied very surely. Ren Qinxin and others were not able to go to dinner because of the sudden visit of the Qin Palace, Li Yuan, and Zhao's family and sat with them. Hearing the conversation between Tang Fenghong and Lu Xuanjia, he couldn't help but glance at each other, his expression a little complicated. It's not Phoenix, but Vermilion Bird. Speaking of ancient books, Vermilion Bird is not weak and Phoenix is half a point. Brother Lu, how did you think about what I just said? The four of our brothers specially invited Brother Lu to visit my Prince Qin mansion. The four brothers from Prince Qin mansion could not sit still at this time, yes. Liu Xuanji invited. Li Yuan, Li Min, who was the principal, is gone. The Zhao family, after all, is half finished in the weak Qin palace. These two families did not dare to invite Liu Xuanji rashly when everyone was present. But Prince Qin's mansion didn't produce any moths, that is, it has the upper hand. Li Yuan and Zhao's family were to guard against Lu Xuanji being taken away by them. Since they have an advantage, why not try? Brother Qin is kindly invited, and he will definitely be free. Lu Xuanji replied indifferently, with alienation in his tone. Although I promised, I may not go. Even if I go, Yu Qin Palace, can you really keep me? Before I go to the palace of King Qin, I have to go to the military headquarters first to plead for the mistakes I have committed. There is also the Academia Sinica. The semester is approaching, so I have to report. Lu Xuanji threw Jin Zhao on the table and continued. The implication is that I am very busy, no time. Wait. Having said that, Lu Xuanji didn't mean to be remorseful in his words, and everyone didn't even believe him for a dime. However, what this reveals is that the really important meaning is don't think about it, I am already an official person and will not take refuge in you. The people of the three families were silent for a long time, and there was some shock and surprise in their hearts. Jin Zhao, since the new day, the Academia Sinica has issued the only two Jin Zhao. There is also the military department, what kind of handy machine, Lu Xuanji destroyed the Sky City in Xinchen City, this is the first time in history since Xinri. There were thousands of capable people who were killed or injured that day. The incident was so influential that it was even on the international news. How could the military department let Lu Xuanji go so easily? After a while, several people came to their senses and understood in their hearts that, in any case, it was hopeless that they wanted to win Lu Xuanji today. The official is indeed a better choice, and besides, even if they want to pay a big price to compete with the official Lu Xuanji, this occasion is not suitable now. Tang Fenghong first stood up and left. He originally stayed here to stare at Lu Xuanji and not to be drawn by the Prince Qin's mansion. At this moment, the three had no chance, and there was no need to stay. Brother Lu was actually invited by Jin Zhao from the Academia Sinica. It turned out to be a dark horse born out of nowhere. In this new world, Brother Lu will surely have a place in the future. In the three years of the new day, this prosperous age has just begun. The old man is optimistic about Brother Lu. If Brother Lu is free, he might as well come to our Gongzhou mansion. Li Yuan must be a hospitality. Miss has a deep relationship with Yuan Bao. Just now Yuan Bao was injured, and the old man was a little uneasy. Let's leave today. I'm rude, forgive me. Tang Fenghong gave Lu Xuanji a fist, took his own hat, turned and left. Is this a, high society, person? Sure enough, the words are really nice and have a real temperament. Lu Xuanji secretly said in his heart, but he also had some complaints. The rules are rules, and the education is educated, which is too serious and rigid. The bottom scum of society like me is not the same person. Even saying a few words must be carefully considered beautiful, it is too tiring. If he changed to Lu Xuanji, he might just say, suddenly remember that the gas in my house is not turned off, leave. 
and then slip away. When Tang Fenghong walked to the door, he happened to see a few well-armed city security experts walking under the leadership of the lobby manager. When the two sides collided, they couldn't help being stunned for a moment. Hasn't Lu Xuanji already received an olive branch from the military? How come people from the Ministry of Urban Security will come? In fact, several teams came to the city security headquarters for the crash of the Sky City in Xinchen City. At this time, the lobby manager called for the Tianzi team responsible for capturing Lu Xuanjia. The Captain Jin Wu is a rank 8 ability. The players are all ranks 6 and 7. There are 10 players, 8 and 6 ranks. Although Prince Qin's palace, Li Yuan, and Zhao family came here this time, they were all tier 9, but in fact, there were not too many tier 9 abilities. Even, basically most of the 9th tier abilities have heard of each other. It was precisely because the city security headquarters believed that it was not capable of arresting Lu Xuanji, it reported to the military department and asked the military department to send people to assist. Who knows? Well, the two departments think differently. The urban security headquarters only considers domestic urban security, while the military department needs to consider the situation of the entire world. There are only a handful of ninth tier and half capable people. A strong ninth tier capable person can win a lot for his country. Interests. Even if Lu Xuanji caused the death of many low level abilities and ordinary people, the benefits he could bring were enough to make up for and offset all of this. Old Tang Sr. After Jin Wu was stunned, he quickly bowed to Tang Fenghong. Tang Fenghong was one of the few rank 9 strong men who had not left the Academia Sinica, but he was also the next rank 9 semi strong man predicted by the Prophet and the fourth rank 9 semi strong man in the Dragon Kingdom. No matter what power he belongs to, as long as he is not treason, he is a senior who deserves the respect of all the abilities of the Dragon Kingdom. Yeah, Xiao Jin, I have something to do, so I won't greet you too much. Tang Fenghong nodded slightly. Li Yuan had some dealings with people from the Urban Security Department. Jin Wu is the captain of the Sky Team, and Tang Fenghong still knows it. However, in the face of such a junior, he no longer needs to be as polite as he was in front of Lu Xuanji just now. Jin Wu and the others let go, and Tang Fenghong strode away. At this time, seeing Tang Fenghong leaving in the room, the four brothers of the Qin family and Zhao Chengxuan were also ready to get up. Before it was completed, Jin Wu and the others came in. Looking at each other, the four brothers of the Qin family, Zhao Chengxuan and others, who were about to leave, just got up and turned to the door when they saw Jin Wu and his party walk in mightily. Jin Wu, who was still thinking about how Tang Fenghong got out of here, was blinded at the time, and his mind went blank. There is only one voice in my heart, big man. What day is it today? What scene? The four brothers of the Qin family first came back to their senses. After all, they are considered to be Bufin in the Dragon Kingdom, and they are also big people on weekdays. In terms of temperament, they should always be calmer. Quietly glanced back at Lu Xuanjia, several people laughed secretly in their hearts, and instantly understood the purpose of Jin Wu and others. It seems that the people at the city security headquarters still don't know the news that Lu Xuanji was recruited by the government. The news of the two departments are not synchronized and not coordinated, which is nothing new to Longguo officials. Jin Wu knew Qin Tianyi, Zhao Chengxuan and others, and Jin Wu understood with just a few words. But Qin Tianyi and the others didn't say anything, just smiled and walked towards the door. It seems that Brother Lu is really busy, we won't bother today. After that, while walking towards the door, he patted the shoulders of Jin Wu and the others who were clearing the way. Jin Wu felt compelled, suddenly a little bit of a bottomless, how could the people of the Qin Palace be here, and he seemed to be very polite to Lu Xuanji. Tang Fenghong just now, and Zhao Chengxuan, a member of the Zhao family. Jin Wu frowned slightly, thinking about something, but the lobby manager didn't give him a chance to think. The people who saw King Qin's mansion and Zhao's family also left, bending over to Jin Wu and said, My lord, this is Lu Xuanji. Quote, just now, Lu Xuanji and these people ran over to open the room. The security of our hotel was inadequate. There was really no way. I arranged for him to stay. After arranging for him to stay, I will come to report to you immediately. My lord, you should take him away, and his accomplices. I don't know why such a mob lives in our hotel. 
The lobby manager patted his chest and said, numbly with Lu Xuanji. Wait for people to clear the relationship. Lu Xuanji looked at him, really lacking ground, didn't he realize that Jin Wu himself was silent? I don't know if this guy puts too much trust in the official department, or really doesn't know what to say. Lao Jin, are you here to deal with the Xinchen City Sky City incident? At this moment, Ren Qinchen spoke and asked Jin Wu. That's right, Jin Wu and Ren Qinchen also knew each other. After all, Jin Wu is a member of the Urban Security Headquarters. He usually works in Tianjin City. Ren Qinchen and the others sometimes go out of school for tasks, and they will also deal with Jin Wu and the others. The lobby manager who was babbling was stunned, his voice stopped abruptly, and he opened his mouth wide and looked at Ren Qinchen in amazement. Lao, Lao Jin, do they know? Just forget about Tang Fenghong. After all, he met outside. The lobby manager was anxious about the mob and didn't care much. The two parties just said hello and left. The four people from Prince Chin's mansion didn't say hello at all. They just gave way. Jin Wu knows the origin of Taoist's house, but the lobby manager doesn't know it. At this time, Ren Qinchen and the others were regarded as Lu Xuanji's accomplices by the lobby manager. They didn't expect to meet the adult from above when they opened their mouths. Why are you mingling with him? Jin Wu looked at Lu Xuanji and asked. Ren Qinchen shrugged and looked at Jin Zhao on the table. Speaking of which, he is also our classmate now. Is it weird to be together? Quote dot 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 quote. Jin Wu only noticed the inconspicuous Jin Zhao on the table, and his pupils shrank. I couldn't help muttering in my heart, resenting. I went to Pete for a big watermelon. I was pitting labor and capital. I was drinking and eating meat, calling labor and capital to arrest people. If you arrest someone, you can arrest someone. If you say it is good, it doesn't matter, it's a good first class work. The problem is, not to mention that Lu Xuanji's strength is estimated to be tier 9, he was only 70% sure of the entire team, so when he came, he also notified the military officer who was said to assist them, but he hadn't received a reply yet. Son. It's not bad now. The mob even got the Jinjiao from the Academia Sinica. Do you ask him to catch it or not to catch it? Coupled with the people from Tang Fenghong, the Prince of Qin, and the Zhao family who I just saw here, Jin Wu really has no idea at all. He felt that he was scammed by the lobby manager of the Haoting restaurant. I couldn't help but curse secretly at the military department and the Academia Sinica, what are they doing every day, are there any principles they have lost? Give a golden edict to these thugs. The people sent by the military department are too, knowing that you are a big brother, and disdain to assist a few of us weak, but you have to listen to the above orders. The phone is turned off. What the hell? The members of Jin Wu couldn't help but look at him, and the resentment on the captain was so obvious that it was almost visible to the naked eye. Cough. The atmosphere in the silence was embarrassing. Jin Wu gave a dry cough and slapped the lobby manager's head. To tell the truth, he wants to avenge his personal revenge a little bit. You should know what he did. This incident has had a very bad impact on the international community and has seriously threatened domestic peace. Such dangerous elements and terrorist forces will not be allowed to exist. You are with him. Jin Wu reminded with squinting eyes, but after all, he didn't mean to do anything. Ren Qinchen and the three looked at each other. I only know that Jin Zhao is real, but that only represents the position of our Academia Sinica. You are a member of the Ministry of Urban Security, and you can follow your boss's orders. However, as a friend, I still advise you that Lu Xuanji is very strong, and you are probably not his opponent. Jin Wu was silent, all came, just left, wouldn't it be very losing face? Just when he was in a dilemma, the phone rang. Jin Wu seemed to take a sigh of relief in his heart, oh my god, who is so good, call him to relieve him at this time. Wait, I'll answer the phone first. I'll talk about you later. Come on, show him to me, don't let him run away. Jin Wu took out the phone and directed his team members. The team members looked at him strangely, Captain, don't take you so screaming. Where can we see it? then he really wants to run away, is it our pot? However, having said that, Lu Xuanji didn't look like he was about to run. At this time, he was sitting on the sofa with a big heart, looking at them like a monkey. The team members were expressionless, and in accordance with the usual fortification rules, they controlled the entire room with superb weapons. 
Jin Wu retired to the corridor and saw the caller ID on the phone. At that time, he almost dropped the phone. Xiao Yin, this is the big man sent by the military to assist them. Just now when the lobby manager of Hao Ting came to report the letter, he called Xiao Yin, but it was turned off. Unable to withstand the urging of the lobby manager, Jin Wu had to come first with someone. Before coming, he only knew that Lu Xuanji might be tier 9, but according to Jin Wu's experience, his players were well equipped and well coordinated, and ordinary tier 9 could be won with a 70-80% certainty. But now, although Lu Xuanji hasn't said a word, the Tang Fenghong, Qin Palace, and Zhao family members who walked out of him have already directly lost a few kings in Jin Wu's heart. Not to mention that Jin Zhao, if it's just an ordinary ninth rank, can you interact with these big people? Can you get the Jin Zhao from the Academia Sinica? Xiao Dage, we have found the thug Lu Xuanji. We are now in Hao Ting Restaurant 701. Do you think you can come here as soon as possible? After a sulking sulk, Jin Wu answered the phone and said to the other side of the phone. There was a weird gasp over the phone. What am I talking about? Do you have to disturb me all night? I have already seen him. He shouldn't pose a threat to the safety of the city for the time being. You should take care of the Sky City first. When such a big event has happened, some Xiao Xiao may appear and create chaos. Xiao Yin replied. The world after the New Day has never been so calm on the surface, such as this small Zenshin city. At the beginning of the New Day, the three major families seized the limelight. After fighting for a period of time, due to the persecution of the Central Army, the three compromised and took control of Zenshin city. After that, even if the three powers were gathered, they were still not the opponents of the military. In order to avoid greater losses, they had to follow the example of other cities and swore to obey the central command and dispatch. The situation in Zinchen City was temporarily stabilized in this way. However, the capable people in Zinchen City are not just these three families. For example, Sparks and others are scattered people, because they are unwilling to join the three families, pursuing freedom and earning a living by taking on some tasks on the dark web built by Cheng Shanbai. As far as Cheng Shanbai is concerned, is his ideal just enough to run such a dark web? Uncertain. Not to mention that in addition to this group of scattered people, Xinchen City also has some small capable forces, usually under the suppression of the three major families. The Sky City has fallen, and the grassroots abilities of the three major families have died a lot. It is inevitable that these suppressed abilities are incapable of thinking. Quote dot 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 quote. After listening to Xiao Yin's calm instructions, Jin Wu was speechless. He felt that Xiao Yin looked down on himself. It's just some Xiao Xiao in Xinchen City, do they need his dignified team to stabilize the situation? What Xiao Yin meant was to tell him to ignore Lu Xuanji, and that Xinchen City was enough. What the hell do you mean by the military department? What is going on with Lu Xuanji? I think I should have the right to know. Jin Wu asked Xiao Yin dissatisfied. I can't call him. There was a long silence on the other end of the phone, and then a voice rang. You, what, you can't beat him. Jin Wu was surprised, then lowered his voice and asked. If Xiao Yin couldn't beat him, his team would definitely have nothing to do with Lu Xuanji. It would be difficult for Lu Xuanji himself to know about this kind of thing. Or, is this dangerous element still lawless? You are the martial king of the 10th company in the army, you can't beat him. Jin Wu asked again, confirming in disbelief. Xiao Yin's strength is not weak. In the previous army competition, he has won 10 consecutive victories, and he is also a well-known figure in the entire Dragon Kingdom ability. The result of the competition is nothing, it's not worth mentioning. Xiao Yin sighed softly, shaking his head. Do you want to say that he has not been proud of this achievement? Impossible. It's just that he understands better than Jin Wu that in this era, the results on the field really can't explain anything. Only the results on the field of life and death can be said to be true strengths and weaknesses. Xiao Yin was very sorry that he was introduced to the military by the master because of his talent, but also because of his talent, when he was less than a last resort, he always missed those truly dangerous tasks. In short, I can't beat him. At this time, the military experts are all undergoing emergency training, and it is impossible to send a lot of people. I have reported his situation to the military department. As long as he no longer poses a threat to civilians, we may recruit him. 
the military department should communicate with your boss soon, just leave him alone. Xiao Yin continued. Soon after, it will be the second global summit of capable people. One year ago, in the second year of New Japan, the first global ability summit was held. After that global conference, the small countries that did not have tier 7 abilities at that time were all reduced to resource warehouses divided by big countries, and sometimes they were used as war grounds. Those with the ability have great destructive power. If they are not sure of victory or are pressed into urgency, they will not start a war between themselves and the opponent's territory. If it caused a greater loss, it would be endless. Therefore, under normal circumstances, there are conflicts and struggles between big countries, and they will all be negotiated in the nearest small country. As for the small country without top-level abilities, the situation can be imagined. At the turn of the new day, perhaps it is really the end for them, right? The second Global Ability Summit is set to be three years and three months after the start of the new day, and each other already has systematic information about the Awakened. It can also be said that he knows all the opponents he cares about. As we approach the Global Summit, all countries are fighting hostile forces from the outside world. They train strictly internally to try to hug the Buddha's feet before setting off. Xiao Yin hung up the phone, Jin Wu held the phone, frowning, and did not return to the room for a long time. After a long time, I sighed. Anyway, today there must be a result. Jin Wu went back to Hall 701 as if he died, and looked at Lu Xuanjia. Lu Xuanjia noticed his gaze and looked up innocently, Did you finish the call? Are you here to catch me? There is trouble in Sky City, let's go. Jin Wu said nonsense with his eyes open and shouted to the players. Big. Dot sir. Captain Gold. Here, this thug can't stay with me. What should we do? Jin, Captain Jin, you are here, let's take this mob away first. The lobby manager was stunned and hurriedly shouted to Jin Wu. He was scared. When Lu Xuanji's face just said he was a thug, now Jin Wu and the others have gone like this and they have reported a letter to the Ministry of Urban Security. Can Lu Xuanji let him go? Urgent situation. Let go. Let me go. Jin Wu called out to the lobby manager who was holding his thigh as he walked outside the door. The lobby manager was pushed away by Jin Wu, and before he pounced on him, Jin Wu led the team and ran away. Ha, huh, grandmas, isn't this cheating labor and capital? Manager, where do you want to go? The lobby manager was about to run out, but the door was closed by Meng Hongyu. Seeing the three people holding their arms around Own Ren Chinchen, the lobby manager couldn't help swallowing, crying without tears. He had known that pretending to be a fool, these official guys are too unreliable, he thought this headquarters is very powerful, and they are not in the same class as the officials of Xinchen City. It turns out that they are all the same, bullying the soft and afraid of the hard. Who is the mob? Who's the report? Who is the accomplice? I didn't know him, I just pretended to look alike. Dot dot dot. Okay, don't bully him, let him go. Lu Xuanji looked at the cowering lobby manager and said to the Ren Chinchen trio amusedly. He just agreed to accept the Jinjiao from the Academia Sinica, and he had to be a good baby. The lobby manager looked back at Lu Xuanji incredulously, let, let him go. How can it be? The man in front of him looked a little gentle, some ordinary youth, but the thug who ruined the city of the sky, it can be said that there are countless souls under his men, who kill people without blinking. Ren Chinchen and the others also looked back at Lu Xuanji. They were regarded as an accomplice of the thug, and were secretly informed. They were all a little angry, but Lu Xuanji did not seem to be angry at all. Who is the mob anyway? For a moment, Ren Chinchen thoughtfully. Indeed, the current Lu Xuanji shouldn't cause trouble anymore. Speaking like we are to you, but it's just a lesson to him. Ren Chinchen replied, letting the two of Meng Hongyu also let the door open. The lobby manager looked at the open door, but swallowed, and did not dare to leave. Really or not, the mob not only didn't pursue him for secretly reporting, but also let him go. How does he feel so unreal? The cold sweat had soaked his back, and he felt that Lu Xuanji was playing tricks on him. Watching the news, this guy is just because, the girlfriend and the boss of the company are unclear. Not only did he implicate the big boss behind the company, he even overturned the entire Sky City, which represents the territory of the capable people, in a fit of anger. Quote dot. Lu Xuanji didn't know which version of the rumor the lobby manager knew, 
but no matter which version, if Lu Xuanji knew a little mind reading, how could he be so calm at this time, looking at the lobby manager with a smile? It must be to care about him so much, first slap to death. Only when your girlfriend is confused with your boss, you have been greened, and your whole family has been greened. Why, you don't want to leave? Lu Xuanji narrowed his eyes and asked when the lobby manager hadn't moved for a long time. No, no, it's not, the lobby manager quickly said when he heard it, and while quietly glancing at Lu Xuanji, he moved to the door. Looking at that posture, it seemed that he was ready to sprint and escape at any time. Lu Xuanji couldn't help feeling a bit funny, how to pinch it, which reminded him of his long-lost childhood when he was called into the teacher's office. Lu Xuanji watched the lobby manager leave without regretting it. It's just a small person, even if you give him 10 years, he can't be his own opponent at this time. Letting him go is just an attitude on behalf of own, telling those people that destroying the city in the sky is a decision under his anger. And the self who calmed down his anger is not a mad demon who kills people for pleasure. He can talk and talk. The lobby manager didn't slum himself against the wall until he left the floor where Lu Xuanji was. The spirit just now was too tense, and when it relaxed, it felt like a survivor. However, such a dangerous mob was living in his hotel, he was still worried. But for a moment, the lobby manager makes the next decision, he wants to take leave and go home. The hotel is someone else's. Whether it's your own life, it's important to save your life. When the mob has left, you can come back to work. In Suite 701, seeing the excitement, Ren Chinchin and the others are going to eat again. However, I couldn't help but make a few comments on the matter just now. It seems that you are so famous, this Dragon Kingdom wants to win you over. Then King Chin's mansion and Li Yuan are not friendly, and it is not the first time that they have robbed officials from officials. Ren Chinchin said. Really, did it succeed? Why, Lu Xuanji couldn't help but ask with some doubts. Can these few powers that have only risen in the new days really compete with the official? Although after the new day, the official control of the country is basically just superficial. To control the overall situation, you still need to use a balance to control several larger capable forces. It is no longer the same as before the new day. But the official is the official after all, with the strongest resources and the best prospects for development. There are too many official powerhouses. A tier 9 ability person can basically be a guest of elder among those family powers. Apart from following the orders of a few major family figures, everyone else can ignore it. But in the official department, it's good for an ordinary 9th level ability to mix with a small cadre, unless it is a relatively strong 9th level ability with 2 or 3 abilities, they have status, resources, and the right to speak. Ren Chinchin nodded and explained. Forces such as the palace of the King of Qin and Li Yuan have indeed succeeded in robbing people from the government, and they have done so many times. The method used is also very simple, nothing more than a huge profit. In addition, even if the people they recruit, even if they take refuge in them, they actually do not restrict those people from continuing to seek positions in the official sector, and even help them to seek higher positions, just clearly standing in line. For many recruited talents, this is simply a win-win situation. With official benefits, while being enshrined by family forces, they can get an extra resource. There are many professors in the Academia Sinica. While serving as professors in the Academia Sinica, they are also elders of a certain family and a certain ability. Ren Chinchin explained a lot, but Lu Xuanji only heard two words from Ren Chinchin's words strength. No matter where you are, strength is the top priority. It is precisely because of the strength that the official has the olive branch to ignore the previous suspicion, and it is precisely because of the strength that the major family forces are recruited. If he was just an ordinary person with rank 6 and 7 ability and destroyed the Sky City in Xinchen City, he would have been directly killed by someone like Jin Wu long ago. Which power do you have a good opinion of? Li Yuan, it's the palace of the Qin dynasty, the Zhao family, it's just a lot of business and wealth, and the strength is far worse than that of Li Yuan and the palace of the Qin dynasty. After the explanation, Ren Qinchen asked Lu Xuanji again. Before Lu Xuanji could answer, he said to himself, then Li Yuan even sent Miss and Tang Elder personally. It seems that you are very important to you. In the past three years, Li Yuan has actually controlled 18 large secret realms around Gongzhou Prefecture, 
three huge secret realms, and one Pakistan secret realm is said to be super large. The secret realm of Pakistan is indispensable for Li Yuan to be able to live today. That is the actual control area of Li Yuan. Even if the official wants to enter the secret realm of Pakistan, he still requires grandpa to pay some price like telling grandma. If you join Li Yuan, and with your luck, you might be able to use the secret realm of Pakistan to break through to the ninth and a half in one or two years. Ren Chinchin said, somewhat envied. I don't know if I envy Li Yuan's power, or envy Lu Xuanji being so solemnly solicited by Li Yuan. Although Lu Xuanji killed Shuangui with an axe, Ren Chinchin and others just thought he was a more powerful ninth rank because there was no vision like Wu Bai Chang around him. Actually, sorry, I am not, I only have rank 7. I don't plan to join any of them. Ren Chinchin was going to introduce Lu Xuanjia to the palace of the King of Qin, but Lu Xuanjia had no intention of listening any more, and said confidently. Ren Chinchin was stunned for a moment, surprised by Lu Xuanji's determination. He seemed to have just said that joining these forces will not affect Lu Xuanji's official position, and will even get Li Yuan and Prince Qin's mansion to help him get promoted with the help of existing forces. Lu Xuanji didn't tell him that he didn't plan to hold an official position. He can take the Jinjiao from the Academia Sinica because, strictly speaking, the Academia Sinica is not a true official department but an institution for learning and research. Just a week ago, Lu Xuanji was still an ordinary person, and his understanding of the changes since the New Day, Secret Realm, and Capable People was too limited. The Academia Sinica has complete and up-to-date information on changes in the New Day. He can also agree to the military, accept their tests and tests, and attend the Global Ability Summit in the near future. But this is just a deal. The military department helped him eliminate the influence, allowing him to walk in the sun with integrity, and he contributed to the peace and strength of the Dragon Kingdom. If you really want to hold a position, it is impossible. It is impossible to work part-time. It is impossible to work part-time in this life. Not to mention working for the military department. The so-called military order is like a mountain, and Lu Xuanji can't accept this. He doesn't want to be a great hero, he has no big ambitions for the country and the people, and he doesn't want to be bound by rules and regulations. As for what Qin Palace and Li Garden to join, there is no need. The secret realm that has been born now and is still worth developing is basically in the hands of the government and a few powerful forces such as the palace of the King of Qin and Li Yuan. Are you sure not to join? Ren Chinchin asked puzzledly. A super large secret realm, in which there is likely to be the best cultivation technique cheats, spiritual fruit, spiritual wood, spiritual material, spiritual land. In short, the current promotion of capable people basically relies on these resources, and these resources are controlled by forces like Li Yuan and King Qin's mansion. It can be said that in the new three years, the pattern has been set. There will be no more powers coming from behind, and the amount of resources will directly widen the gap between large powers and small powers. In less one day, the reliance on resources of the capable person is reduced to a critical point, but that may be the beginning of another new century. Yes, Lu Xuanji answered Ren Qinxin very positively. Work for someone else for secret realm. Impossible, his ascension strength is not like other abilities, he needs heavenly and mortal treasures, he only needs to draw out an awesome species by luck, and then contract or extract abilities. Lu Xuanji's demand for external resources was low to a critical point for those with other abilities. Of course, it is better to have it, but it is not impossible to have it. After a conversation, Ren Qinxin and the others went out to eat, and Lu Xuanji returned to his room and counted his large bags of trophies. The first is the axe, unremarkable. According to Zhu Shaok's reminder, Lu Xuanji tried to recognize the master in the kitchen, on the balcony, in the bedroom, in the living room, all kinds of postures dripped blood to recognize the master, but there was no use. This thing is just like a pile of iron, there is no response at all. Zhu Shaok, are you sure that this is how you practice magic treasures? Lu Xuanji asked Zhu Shaok impatiently. He had tried all the methods Zhu Shaok had said. He suspected that he was a muggle, or how could the axe not react at all? I am a dignified vermilion bird. How could I be mistaken for such a small problem as magic treasures? It must be the problem with the axe. Zhu Shaok shook the pot. Quote dot 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 quote. Lu Xuanji looked straight at vermilion bird, and I looked at you quietly. 
Vermilion Bird is just Vermilion Bird. It's still dignified. You can't even beat a mysterious turtle. I think Brother Axe is more reliable than you. Since you said it was an axe problem, then change to magic treasures, a chessboard. Lu Xuanji put the axe aside and took out the chessboard he got in the pavilion. Zhu Xiaok said that there are many kinds of postures, who, and methods for refining magic treasures. The simplest is to drip blood to establish a touch of mind. It is the simplest ritual. After the ritual, magic treasures can be used and part of the power of magic treasures can be exerted. If the strength is strong enough, you can also use the full power of magic treasures. A further step is that after the blood has been dripped to establish a sense of mind, he uses special sacrificial techniques to deepen the connection between his own spirit and magic treasures every day. After completion, magic treasures can be controlled like an arm, and most of the power of magic treasures can be exerted. The most solemn method is to drop blood essence, practice and nourish it every day, and over the years, it will cost magic treasures. If the quality of magic treasures is good enough, it may even be upgraded with ascension of the master's strength, giving birth to a tool spirit. Not only can it be dictated by an arm, or even by your mind, magic treasures can reach you, and in some extreme cases, you can make magic treasures perform beyond your normal abilities. But this method, compared with the previous two methods, can be used a limited number of times. A person's blood essence is limited, and it is linked to the person's strength. The stronger the strength, the more blood essence, and a tier 9 ability person can only have 3 or 5 drops of blood essence. Losing a drop will damage the original strength, and it will take a long period of recovery to recover. Therefore, deciding on one's life magic treasures is a solemn thing. You can't just take a magic treasures and drop blood essence to sacrifice it. Don't get a few magic treasures, and you will die first. Of course, it's not that it is different from ordinary people in terms of cultivating magic treasures. In Vermilion Bird's inheritance memory, there is a sect, Lingbaozong. Its sect feature is magic treasures. Every disciple can sacrifice a large number of magic treasures of his life. There are at least a dozen, and as many as hundreds. When the fight starts, magic treasures are endless. Lu Xuanji dropped a drop of ordinary blood on the chessboard, pinched the seal according to the sacred fire sacrifice refining technique, taught by Vermilion Bird, mobilized his own spirit and divine mind, and leaned toward the chessboard. To sacrifice magic treasures, in addition to external blood, blood essence, and divine sense, there is also a necessary thing, which is the sacrifice technique. There are thousands of rituals, each of which has different qualities. The high-quality rituals make it easier to practice magic treasures and have a higher success rate. Inferior refining techniques may not be able to refining high-quality magic treasures. There are also some special magic treasures, which have their own matching rituals. But Lu Xuanji obviously didn't, so at this time, Vermilion Bird used the Shen Fire Sacrifice Refining Method. Although the name is simple, the central idea is just a fire forging and melting, but it is the highest in the universe. One of the rituals of sacrifices and refining techniques, for Vermilion Bird's own use. Using this kind of sacrifice technique to sacrifice magic treasures is simple and has a high success rate. It is just an ordinary sacrifice, and it can also exert the power of the magic treasures of one's life. If the ritual is carried out in the form of natal magic treasures, it is even more possible to directly rank ascension magic treasures and exert the power that surpasses magic treasures itself. After experiencing the previous 100 million failures, Lu Xuanji was skeptical of Zhu Xiaok's self-use sacrificial technique. He glanced distressedly at his own blood on the chessboard and began the sacrificial cultivation. MD, if I continue to fail, I will have anemia. Who invented the blood to recognize the Lord? Can you change it to a simpler way? What do you think? This is the simpler way. The system suddenly appeared, bloating. Originally, for those innate gods who were born with great powers, magic treasures didn't need to be sacrificed at all, and it was not too much for later generations. Gradually, there is a sacrificial refining technique, and there is a drop of blood to recognize the master. By dripping blood, deepening the connection between people and magic treasures is just to make the sacrifice process simpler. The system's words are a bit remote and vague, maybe it is a reminder of a distant era. Quote dot 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 quote. Lu Xuanji was not in the mood to pay attention to the system anymore. At this time, 
his mind blended into the chessboard, as if he had entered a world of black and white. The endless and lonely black and white space seems to be distinct, and it seems to be harmoniously integrated in one place, full of mysterious and mysterious auras everywhere. He sometimes looks like a tiny shadow thrown into this black and white world, and sometimes looks like a huge, the whole black and white world itself. There used to be two chess cultivators. Because of a game of chess on this chessboard, they gained the Tao soaring. The chessboard was originally just ordinary magic treasures, but because it carried the Tao of two people, it was a tool for two people to become Taoists, and it contained the principles and principles that they had understood. If it is an ordinary person with a weak mind, it is easy to get lost in the way of the two and become a puppet. As far as Xinxing is concerned, Lu Xuanji is actually an ordinary person. If he is really different from ordinary people, that is, he has, looked aside, now, there is nothing in the world that he cherishes, and he is bold and not afraid of death. In terms of realm, there is really nothing higher than ordinary people. But since Vermilion Bird dared to let him practice this chessboard magic treasures, he naturally relied on it. Because of the royal beast art, Lu Xuanji and Vermilion Bird actually had a connection that had nothing to do with the system. Lu Xuanji's realm is not enough to venerate this chessboard magic treasures, but for Vermilion Bird, it is more than enough. I saw a group of beating flames suddenly appeared in the middle of this black and white world. As the fire spread, countless stars converged, and the southern seven constellations were projected into this black and white world. As the stars converge, the shadows of the seven star beasts gradually appear under the weaving of the stars. In the south, the whole star draws the vermilion bird map infinitely enlarged, while the original black and white world is correspondingly reduced to a point. Quote dot. Lu Xuanji suddenly appeared in Vermilion Bird's perspective at this time. He was the star of the entire southern seven places, where countless stars and star fields converged. The Tao of the black and white world was played in front of him like a small movie. Looking at the black and white world that seemed to blend, but also to fight, Lu Xuanji suddenly thought of Tai Chi, in reality, and then thought of some of the meanings and characteristics of Tai Chi that modern people have summed up. In this way, it is like a sudden realization. Now that the original profound and difficult Tao has a profound and clear interpretation, it is like reading a picture book. You only need to follow the ideas of the predecessors to think and accept. It is not too difficult. As time passed, Lu Xuanjia seemed to see everything in the world from the simple black and white world. And the most important thing is that the chessmen and soldiers turned into black and white are experiencing tragic battles. You come and go. This is the chessboard world, this is the way of the two chess guests. Yin and Yang and Tai Chi are too profound and too big to be understood by those two chess players. The Tao of the two chess players can be said to be a small part of the Yin and Yang Tai Chi. To be specific, it is chess confrontation, war thinking, everything in the world, and human relations. With the help of Vermilion Bird's realm, Lu Xuanji quickly got out of this state of being immersed in the black and white world and unable to control himself, and began to sacrifice the technique in the chessboard. When he finished the initial sacrifice and woke up again, when he returned to the real world, it was already 6 o'clock in the morning the next day. I missed a hundred million. Lu Xuanji felt so regretful when he saw the bright sky outside the window and the first words he blurted out when he woke up. I didn't even think about whether the ritual was successful, and what changes have been made to the chessboard of successful ritual. Lu Xuanji's first reaction was that he missed the sign-in. Today's check-in time limit has 18 hours left. Do you want to check in immediately? As if knowing Lu Xuanji's regret, the system reminded him. Ha, huh, it turns out that it is limited to 24 hours. Is it possible to sign in at any time every day? Lu Xuanji said to himself in surprise. Great. System, I love you. Lu Xuanjia said excitedly. Every sign in is a chance to reach the pinnacle of life. Missed and lost 100 million. I like women, the kind that is tender and tender. Speaking of which, I have been with three masters, and each harem has 3,000, showing affection in front of me every day, or this last master has a conscience and will kill me when he falls enshrined in the temple, not passed on to others. Unfortunately, labor and management can clearly enjoy their twilight years, and the divine body is about to condense. It was snatched out by that bad old man and gave it to you. The system was talking, and suddenly resented. Fortunately, you are a single dog. The system chattered and didn't notice at all. 
Liu Xuanjia's resentment continued to deepen. Liu Xuanjia took out his mobile phone silently and began to write down a small book. The system suddenly woke up. What are you doing? Keep your grudges. Stop it. If I reminded you that you can sign in all day, you really missed it. Why don't you remember your gratitude? Just remember your grudges. I don't know. Maybe it's because I am more impulsive to take revenge than to repay me. Liu Xuanji replied indifferently, done. Quote dot 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 quote. The system was speechless for a while, looking at this posture, when it came out of Liu Xuanji's forehead, this guy would definitely take revenge on the old account, and he was too careful. What should I do if I offend the master? Urgent, wait online. By the way, what did you just say? Sign in. Do you want to sign in now? No, wait until I wash my face and take a breath of Europe. Liu Xuanji went to the bathroom and washed his face solemnly. Ren Qinxin, who had just gotten out of bed, looked surprised to see Liu Xuanji sitting on the sofa and making a series of indescribable and unbelievable actions to the phone, such as taking a deep breath. Ren Qinxin leaned over and took a look, only to see a picture of Koi on the screen of the phone, and then another picture of a group of Koi. Quote dot 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 quote. Ren Qinxin had a black line, what did this guy do? It really is, deep well ice. What are you doing? Ren Qinxin asked puzzledly. Draw the blind box. Liu Xuanjia answered calmly without lifting his head. Quote dot 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 quote. Ren Qinxin was a little speechless. They must not believe it, you still like to play this. Liu Xuanji then looked up at him and said with a smile. With a blind box of unlimited varieties, you can become the CEO if you get a rare one, marry by Fumei, get a promotion and raise your salary, and embark on the pinnacle of life. Quote dot 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 quote. Ren Qinxin didn't believe it, just mumbling about why he had never heard of this kind of blind box before turning and leaving. Liu Xuanjia smiled carelessly, and confirmed to the system, sign in. Ding, sign in is successful, you open tier 0 slime illustration book. Quote exclamation mark quote, quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Liu Xuanji didn't speak for a while, and after doing so much metaphysical preparation, he really broke through his own record. Not even the first order, the zero order. System, what are you playing with me? How come there are tier zero species? Liu Xuanji couldn't help but questioned angrily. This really refreshed his lower limit of cognition. I thought that the first order was the lowest. Slot, it must be Ren Qinxin who just interrupted and destroyed own feng shui. Master, I have explained this to you. I can only give you the conditions to open a new species every day. As for what species is opened, I can't decide. It all depends on your luck. In the big universe, the upper limit of species is endless. New species are born every minute and every second, and old species die out, even exceeding my cognitive upper limit. However, the zero order species is actually a normal existence. The number zero is special. It is both the smallest and the most special. The zero order species can be said to have the smallest proportion among all the major order species. Slime is an ancient and classic species among the zero order species. The system is well aware of Lu Xuanjia's characteristics of holding enemies and quickly explained, Road. The zero order species is the least, and Lu Xuanji can get it, which is really a big explosion of luck. Speaking of people, Lu Xuanjia rubbed his temples and said with a black line, The zero order species really need a certain amount of luck to get it. Slime is commonly known as the slime monster. It is a rare zero-order species that can't be beaten to nothing, but the zero-order represents not only waste, but also special. Quote, Slimes are very special, with a high degree of shaping, without bottleneck restrictions. Listening to the systematic explanation, Lu Xuanjia directly opened the slime species book. It was still the quaint book frame, with the slime picture in the middle, and some surrounding text recorded the characteristics of the slime. Fortunately, when the illustration book was opened, a bottle of green slime fell from the illustration book. Liu Xuanji reached out to catch it and put the small bottle on the coffee table. This is a picture book reward, and you have a chance to get it when you open a new picture book. The 100 million yuan reward for Money Rat and Sun Wukong synthetic drawing by Heart Ape are all illustrated rewards. Slime Order Zero Small monsters scattered all over the big universe. They have soft and slimy bodies. They vary in size depending on their strength, with or without facial features. 
Slime's body is highly shaped and is often used as a decompression toy by other species. Daily creation limit. 1 million. Can be upgraded, can be advanced, can be merged, can be demonized. Demonization requirements. Unknown. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at the Slime's illustrated book, Lu Xuanjia fell into contemplation and was often used as a decompression toy by other species. Is this what the system says is special? It's really refreshing and refined. Slimes can be used as advanced materials to integrate with other species, and the success rate of advancement is higher. The system silently reminded, I only hope that Lu Xuanjia will not remember this hatred again. I believe you are a ghost, you are the little sparrow, the little blue-winged bird, the little underground rat that greets me. Lu Xuanji rolled his eyes and couldn't comment on the system's weak reminder. It feels wasteful to use underground rats to fuse. Creation. Lu Xuanji raised his hand and created a slime in his hand. Only palm-sized, green, slimy slimes, because they were just created, correspond to the average strength of the species, that is, rank zero. He didn't even have any facial features. If it weren't for it to be twisted and twisted in his palm, Lu Xuanji would think that this thing was lifeless, it was just a mass of crystal mud. Big Thousand World, there are no surprises. Lu Xuanji sighed, and threw the slime on the table casually. Just ask, why does he create one million things every day? Pack it and sell it as crystal mud. Lu Xuanji got up and went back to the room. He just entered the door and hooked his finger at the chessboard on the bed. The chessboard flew towards him by itself. Lu Xuanji caught the chessboard, and with a thought, the chessboard, which was originally 50 or 60 centimeters long on one side, began to shrink, and finally became a mini chessboard in Lu Xuanji's palm that was not much larger than a thumb. After a little thought, Lu Xuanji held the chessboard, presented the chessboard, and mobilized the power contained in the chessboard. I saw two black and white rays of light burst out of the chessboard. At this time, the mini chessboard the size of a thumb in Lu Xuanji's hand had become a pendant, connected by a black and white chain. Lu Xuanji hung the pendant made of a chessboard around his neck, and stuffed all the other things that were too late to count into the package and packed. Vermilion Bird's ritual method is actually very good, except for many failures on the axe, the ceremonial chessboard succeeded once. Moreover, one sacrifice can achieve such control over the chessboard. According to Vermilion Bird, it is equivalent to the effect of the ordinary cultivation in its memory and the practice of magic treasures for half a year. Because of Xiao Yin's urging, Ren Qinxin and the others will take A9 back to the Academia Sinica today. It's just that the alive experiment body is now dead, and good luck is a lot of good luck, but I don't know if Ren Qinxin and the others can graduate. This has nothing to do with Lu Xuanji. He does not intend to go back to the Academia Sinica with Ren Qinxin and the others. He has his own business to do, and the military department is urging them in a hurry. There is still some time for the Academia Sinica to start school. Don't worry. The three of Ren Chinchin, who had just packed and packed their things, just went down for breakfast, hurried up. It's not good, go down and take a look. Your two summons killed people. Ren Chinchin opened the door and said to Lu Xuanji. Because Lu Xuanji killed the Ninth Order mysterious tortoise with an axe, and he had already shown four or five kinds of abilities, Ren Chinchin was no stranger to how many abilities he had. He just counted silently. For the time being, he has not surpassed that godson. After all, he is the only Jinjiao player in the Academia Sinica, normal, nothing more normal. And Mingui and Yingyu were also regarded as another ability of Lu Xuanji, the summoner's summoning creatures. Suddenly hearing this news, Lu Xuanji was taken aback for a moment and killed someone. Lu Xuanji knew that Mingui and Yingyu were shadow servants, and their desire for darkness and soul was almost instinctive. Killing people, they can naturally absorb the soul of the slain to enhance their own strength. But since it was a reward for the system, Lu Xuanji still had a certain amount of trust in them, and they should not violate own orders and kill people at will. Let's go down and take a look. Lu Xuanji casually pinned the axe to his waist, leaving other luggage in the room temporarily, and went down with Ren Qinxin and the others. In the corridor, several people met the oncoming people from the city security guard in uniforms. The people from Xinchen City and Lu Xuanji were also considered old acquaintances. 
Liu Xuanji believes that each of them should have seen own information, and may even have seen it in person during the encirclement and suppression of own in front of the internet cafe a few days ago. Therefore, when the two people met in the corridor, it was not surprising that the people of the city security guard suddenly stopped, and even subconsciously backed up a few steps. Liu Xuanji even heard a startled and panicked whisper. It's him. I heard that the Lord Jin who came to you last night led the team on a mission. Didn't you catch it? What to do? We are not his opponents at all. Do you want to notify Captain Jin? They actually came to deal with the murder case in the Houting Hotel in the morning today. Several tier 4 and 5 capable persons died in the courtyard of Houting Hotel. The alleged murderers were two summoned objects. The staff in the hotel told them, these two summoned creatures belong to 701 guests. Who knows, when they came up to look for the guests of 701, they encountered this, Tai Sui. What do you want to do? Liu Xuanjia squinted his eyes and asked as he watched the leader put his hand to the superb pistol at his waist. Sun Yu was startled, and stopped subconsciously, and swallowed unconsciously. On that day, he participated in the encirclement and suppression of Liu Xuanji. Of course, he did not do it himself. The few capable people sent by the Chen family were the main force in the fight against Liu Xuanji, and they also did peripheral work. Sun Yu's gaze seemed to be looking for something beside Liu Xuanji. As we all know, the person who destroys the sky city of Xinchen City is a person with the ability to control beasts. Liu Xuanjia sensed his intentions and smiled, Are you here to deal with the murder of Hao Ting? It seems we are going to go down together. Are you a guest of 701? Sun Yu asked in shock. 701 is the most luxurious presidential suite in the palace, occupying the entire floor. Since I met Liu Xuanji here, it is estimated that the guest of 701 is really him. Amazed by this incident, Sun Yu only felt her cheeks hurt and gritted her teeth. Grandma special, what is this, let me run into it. He felt that his entire spine was, energetic. The murder this morning was tantamount to once again confirming the danger of Liu Xuanji as a thug. When dealing with Liu Xuanji, he was afraid that he would be gone when he talked about it. Ah. The people of the city security guard slowly backed away, watching Lu Xuanjia with alertness as if facing some scourge. Lu Xuanjia had no doubt that if he pretended to scare them, they might all draw their guns and shoot them indiscriminately. Lu Xuanji walked towards them step by step, Ren Qinxin and the others followed him, and they couldn't help but glance at each other. This kind of atmosphere seems to be what's going on with the big guys attending a big scene. I'm so nervous. Last time I felt this way. I still attended the National Prophets meeting with my master. The three of them whispered. I don't know why, Lu Xuanjia obviously just walked to the city security guard because he needed to go there to take the elevator. However, I felt that the surrounding air pressure was getting lower and lower and heavier. Ren Qinxin thought about it for a while, maybe it's all because of the people from the city security guards who were so nervous that even them were affected. Ding, the elevator arrived. Liu Xuanjia walked into the elevator, Ren Qinxin and the others followed, but Sun Yu and others were still outside the elevator, watching Liu Xuanjia and others on alert. Come in, if you don't come, who can I solve this matter? I believe that my people will not kill people randomly for no reason. It is your job to investigate the murder case. Liu Xuanjia shouted to Sun Yu and others. At this time, it is no longer suitable for him to show this kind of image of killing people at will on his own liking. The shadow servant must have a reason for killing, a reason that can be accepted by the military. There is still a difference between a lunatic and a madman. After thinking about it for a while, Sun Yu found that he was not moving, and Lu Xuanzhan was exhausted with himself and did not let the elevator go down. So after several hesitations, he could only take a few people with him, and he would eat people on this one. The elevator in the city has always been silent. There were so many people in the city security team that they went downstairs in two waves. At this time, Sun Yu and several of his men, who went downstairs with Lu Xuanji first, had already arrived at the scene of the murder. In the courtyard of the Hao Ting Hotel, beside the huge black tortoise shell, several people fell here in all directions. Minghui and Ying Yu stood together and faced off with the fully armed Xinchen city security guard. On the city security guard side, Apart from Sun Yu, there were three rank five capable people among the people facing Mingui and Yingyu, who should be from the city security headquarters. 
Zinchin City is just a small city, and the most powerful characters in the three major families are only six. For the security guards of the ground cities, the general guards are just the strength of tier 2 and tier 3, and tier 4 is enough to be a captain. This kind of strength is actually enough to manage the safety and order of the city on the ground. The grievances of those who exceed their strength are often beyond their control, but there is a premise, under normal circumstances. Lu Xuanjia is obviously not a normal situation, in the eyes of outsiders, his strength is ninth rank. For a small place like Xinchen City, the arrival of a tier 9 capable person is often a big event in itself that can get on the local news. Because today's murder in the Royal Hotel killed a tier 5 capable person, a few of the team members from the city security headquarters who came down to deal with the crash of the Sky City also came. Otherwise, for things like today, the city security guards came to deal with the endgame, collect known information, and build files for storage. They can't control it, it's beyond their ability. Master, seeing Lu Xuanji's arrival, Minghui and Yingyu hurriedly shouted to him. Although they didn't move around in this world much, they could see that they killed those people and seemed to have caused a big trouble. For the two shadow servants, this is actually a bit difficult to understand. Because the world where many shadow servant seniors go, there is actually no such order. Following the shouts of Minghui and Yingyu, the three rank five capable people who were confronting them also looked at Lu Xuanjia. Sixth order, seventh order, I hope you cooperate with our investigation, and don't rely on your strength to be arrogant and domineering, otherwise, there are people outside this person, and there are principles outside the sky. We can only teach you. A person with the ability to summon more than one tier 5 summoned object, at least one order higher than the summoned object. In other words, the strength of the summoner in front of them must be stronger than them. But they are not afraid, because in addition to being a tier 5 capable person, they also have the identity of a member of the city security headquarters. They are not opponents of this person, but there are people in the city security headquarters who can take care of him, so the capable people from these three headquarters speak with confidence. Intel, with a twitch of Sun Yu's mouth, he reminded several people, he is Lu Xuanji. The air was silent for an instant, and there was a trace of embarrassment in the silence. Not only did the three people with the somewhat arrogant city security headquarters step back subconsciously, but the crowd of onlookers around them all disappeared. Lu Xuanji even heard a few aunts who were originally interested in watching the excitement, but suddenly screamed and fled. Mom, it's over. Lu Xuanjia said silently in his heart, don't you need to be so exaggerated? How did he know that whether it was a grandmother, a child watching the excitement, or a person at the city security headquarters, there was only a subconscious thought in his mind. Run, run, is it worth it? It is certainly worth it. Because of the news media, Lu Xuanji at this time was an unblinking thug in the eyes of everyone. The city of the sky fell into his hands, not to mention a five-star hotel in Haoting. If it is because of standing here watching the excitement and being buried by this lunatic along with Hao Ting, it would not be worth the loss. After half a second, looking at the courtyard that was suddenly empty, Ren Qinshen and the others cast a stunned look at Lu Xuanji, with a trace of admiration in their eyes. Dage Beef Batch, the power of this name is tantamount to the effect of dropping a torpedo in the water. It is not an exaggeration to say that he can stop children crying at night. The capable people of the three city security headquarters couldn't help but glance at each other, the original self-confidence look has disappeared, and the eyes flickered. As people at the city's security headquarters, they can be said to have heard of what happened last night. Regarding the changes in Jin Wu's attitude and plans before and after meeting Lu Xuanji yesterday, the other people in the city security headquarters who had not been there at the time also had a vague feeling. Although it is impossible for Jin Wu to say clearly in the team at the city security headquarters, we can't beat Lu Xuanji, and Feng Ti will be arrested temporarily. But just the feeling of the atmosphere and planning within the team is enough to make other members who are not assigned to participate in this matter understand that this matter is probably not that simple, and the above attitude is a bit ambiguous. Seeing that the master's name is so powerful, he was still aggressive just now, and the people at the city security headquarters where they must be arrested were instantly silent, and the two little shadow servants were also a little confused for a while. What? What's the situation? It turns out that the owner is such a prestigious figure in their world. They haven't even noticed this all the time. Ming Wei, 
who was initially wary and dissatisfied with Lu Xuanji, couldn't help but reflect silently in his heart whether he was worried too much. The owner should be the kind of respected character in their world, and shouldn't do the kind of things he worried about to Satsuki. Of course, Lu Xuanji himself was not so flamboyant. What a high reputation, these guys were just afraid of himself as a powerful lunatic. After all, no matter how powerful and powerful you are, it is impossible to reason with a lunatic. Lu Xuanji's act of destroying the city in the sky was simply the act of a lunatic, and it would not bring him any benefit, except for the burning heart. The value of the burning heart is no more than one-tenth of the complete sky city. Even if a normal person wants to occupy the sky city, it is impossible to consider destroying the sky city. What the hell is going on? I remember that I didn't let you kill people, the cause and effect, give me an account. Lu Xuanjia looked at the two little shadow servants and asked. The master asked us to guard the flesh and blood of Shuangui here. It was the thieves who did it by themselves. Little sister and I were just trying to protect the owner's property. Mingui raised his hand to protect Yingyu and told her to step back and turn to Lu. Zan Kai explained. Maybe they did have a reason for the action, but after all they got into trouble. In the current situation, Mingui was afraid that Lu Xuanjia would blame little sister. Lu Xuanji did not answer, but looked at a few capable people in the city security headquarters, which he thought was the same. But the matter of own innocence is not counted. As the courtyard monitored, a tier 5 capable person at one of the city's security headquarters asked, looking at the hotel staff who was waiting tremblingly. The staff member looked up at the questioner, his eyes blinked as if something was wrong. He can't afford to offend this mob, and the official can't afford to offend him. Should he have this monitoring or not? Should there be monitoring? You can give me a hint. What's wrong with your eyes? Go to the hospital to find a doctor and I will pay for it. Lu Xuanji jumped at the corner of his eye and asked the hotel staff with a dark face. Why are you so obvious when this little action is so obvious, do you think I'm blind? No, I don't dare, I don't dare. The hotel staff was startled and hurriedly lowered their heads. Take us to the monitoring room. The person from the city security headquarters whispered. Facing the people in the hotel, they were still majestic. Lu Xuanjia followed a few people to the surveillance room. From them, one could see the nervousness visible to the naked eye. Don't be nervous, I'm not unreasonable, I'm not unreasonable, and I'm not uncooperative. Lu Xuanji patted the shoulder of the capable person of the city security headquarters in front of him. Huang Dao's heart jumped, a little bit eager to cry but no tears. He had known that he would come across this evil star, and this task he said he couldn't come in person. I originally thought it was just the grievances of people with the fifth and sixth ranks, so I could mix a little bit of oil and water, but now this is really putting my life in my throat. Who can guess when the quasi-mob goes mad? If this is really a fight, it is not a human opponent. In the monitoring room, the monitoring of the courtyard was brought out last night. It can be seen that Mingui and Yingyu were just leisurely cultivating and doing some leisure activities in the middle of the night before. For example, Braid Yingyu. Looking at the video under surveillance, Lu Xuanji couldn't help but glanced at Mingui. I felt that something was wrong with you, too. Seeing everyone looking at him in surprise, Mingui turned his head and looked to the side. But everyone couldn't help being shocked. Is this a summoned object? Wisdom is too high, right? Not only is it hard to see the shadow of the summoned object on the outside, it also seems to be no different from ordinary people in terms of intelligence. If it were not for the hotel staff who insisted that this was the summoned object summoned by the 701 guest yesterday, the people from the city security guard actually said nothing to believe that the Mingui brothers and sisters were summoned objects. Not only the city security team in Xinchen City, but also the knowledgeable and capable people from the headquarters did not believe it either. But seeing Lu Xuanji, they had to believe it. In the second half of the night, there was a sudden noise, and several sneaky figures appeared on the screen. It can be clearly seen that some of them are playing cover, attracting the attention of the Mingui brothers and sisters, and some are standing on the other side of the black tortoise shell that the brothers and sisters can't see, stealing the turtle meat from the black tortoise shell. But at the moment when the two people responsible for stealing turtle meat touched the black turtle meat, the night vision surveillance seemed to dim a bit, and then brightened, it took only two breaths time, and the dead were already lying on the ground. N.S. 
the surveillance did not even take a clear picture of when and how the Mingui brothers and sisters did it. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.